Hello. It's me, Danny. I have a big bottle of water and a dream. Um, hello. Hope y'all are doing well. I have drunk. Hello. I'll do posture check. Posture. Hello, hope you're really doing well. Hope you're having a good day. I'm doing good. I was supposed to stream 30 minutes earlier, but we had to do a little reset. You have to do a little reset, and that's okay. I had food. I have me. And now I'm ready to succeed in the world. Uh, I hope y'all are doing well. Hope you're having a good day. Um, I, my day is going pretty good. Um, for those of you who, uh... Ah! For those of you who don't know, um... My birthday's coming up. That's a thing that's happening. I have a birthday this week. I turn... I, I no longer will have a one in front of my age. It will now be a two. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> um, a two? Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, that's gonna be interesting. I'm thinking I'm gonna combine the 1,000... Fault... The one thou- the one thou- the one thou- the one- the one- the one- the one- the- hold on. The- one thousand, <laughs> um, celebration stream along with my birthday stream, because then I could say I hit 1,000 followers for my birthday, and that was my- that was my birthday gift. Um, <laughs> so, you know, two and one. Ha ha ha. Um, no, <laughs> you're 20? Um, um, but that's for a future time. Um, I might try to do a little, like, birthday party stream. I want to do a little Halloween party stream too as well, but I don't know if I'll be able to. I might relax tomorrow because I'm going to have a very busy Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, so we shall see. Um, I was gonna, I had a very fun idea of doing a POV year out of Halloween party, <laughs> um, but it got too overwhelming, so you went in the room, and now you're watching this weird person in the corner play, uh, video games. What's wrong with the way I say Wednesday? What's wrong? What's wrong? Is it because I'm Bahamian? Is it because I'm Bahamian do it? So, oh, you're a dart. Oh, I see. My bad. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. I am. Um, I, I I jumped to conclusions. I jumped to conclusions. I'm so sorry. I jumped to conclusions, <laughs> and I would like to apologize. It's just that I adore came so like just came like a good couple seconds later after the initial message. So you know I had to do what I had to do. You know to defend myself in what I thought was the face of. Um, that, that's crazy! How dare you? Speaking of which, that's th reminded me that I need to close things. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Hi, hello, I'm here. Um, and uh, I added in my Discord that I'm live already. I already did, I already did the thing. I actually did it this time. I've been good. I'm good at remembering. I'm good at remembering it. I just don't like doing it in other Discords because then I feel, I, I feel, I feel weird about it. Um, what's it? None of y'all were gonna... None of y'all were gonna. None of y'all were gonna tell me that this is that this is unbelievably pushed the wrong way. Nobody was gonna point that out to me. It was just dollar skull just gonna leave that there just to be unscuffed and unscuffed. Unscuffed. Okay. Um. I know I'm allowed to. I just feel weird about it. <laughs> um. But uh, I I'll stop. Wait. Th don't worry about it. it's the it was it was it was this it was this it was. It was it was in a weird spot. 
Yes, if you want to, you 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 can. You can. Yes. I just don't like doing it myself. But you're you're allowed to if you want to. Um but um I think it, that was a good time that we get started. Um for those of you who don't know, a couple days ago we played Slay the Princess. We played the game to a we got an ending. Um but there's so many other things to look at. Uh, because out of, there are 97 achievements in this game, and we've got 19. And there's different, like, iterations and versions and, um, things of, like, the vessel that we haven't seen and art we haven't seen. That light right there is crazy. Why is heaven peeking in? Give me one second. That just is crazy to me. I just feel like the amount of light y'all are seeing and the light that's being conveyed are just two very different things. It's just, you're being given falsified information. Oh no! One of the plushy of the plushy, the plushy council fell. We're in it. Hello. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna look at some things. Um... And, uh, yeah, let's, let's just get right into it. Um, I'm gonna load the game because there are, like, a lot of places I picked a load spot from. Um, and so we're gonna go through to see what the other options would have been there. Um, let me see. I think it was, it was this one I wanted to see. Um, hold on. So this is where we see the um we see her for the first time. Um and I want to see I never tried to attack the entity. So I'm going to try and do that. Your will cuts across the entity in front of you but nothing happens. My roots burrow in an ocean beyond your sight. We cannot harm each other as we are now. Ah. Uh. What? Okay, what about my own body? You're right. Damn! That was a sound effect. You feel nothing at all. One of the many hands in front of you reaches forward and gently touches the side of your face. There's nowhere for you to be but here. Damn. Okay. Okay, interesting. What about let her out of here? I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. I don't know if it's loud enough, by the way. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. Mm. I promise that it doesn't hurt. Hi, Vinyl Cowberry, hello! Uh, yeah, I hope you're doing well. Also, uh, just to give a good disclosure, um, so this game, Play the Princess, is essentially, you have you and her, but there's, like, different versions of her, um, and, like, as you go through the game, essentially you have the narrator who's telling you that your task is to slay the princess, but as you go through different things or do different things, you learn that you're actually... When you go through each route, you're actually providing a vessel for this entity because there's only you and this other entity that are at the end of everything, or at the long, I think it's called the long dark, hold on, the long, hold on, the, the long quiet, and then we learn that we are actually the long quiet, like all of this is us, um, and she, and like, we bring her difficult, oh. <laughs> we bring her different vessels depending on the different r routes we go through and at the end it's either we have to choose to go with her and essentially doom the rest of humanity or kill her and then save everybody and then it's us and the other voices that are the iterations of ourselves that went through different timelines and the traumas we experienced in those timelines and the results of those that we hear in our head based on what route we go on um so 
yeah, and I already played this game. I have a VOD of it. It's four hours long. Um, but if you want to watch the VOD of my very first playthrough of it, it's on my VOD channel. And now we're just sort of clicking through the different saves I got at different points where I could have done different things just to see what the different um, dialogue options were. Um, so, yeah. Uh, can I... Hold on. Preferences load. Here we go. Um... What about... Okay, let's go here. Uh, yes. We remember that I'm so much if we trust you. Let's talk to her. If we try and get her back, she seems normal. Uh, I think... What did I say? Uh, I didn't say this one. For all I know, you're locked up here for, down here for a reason. Do you know why you're down here? Is this a quiz? You're the one who came down here, and with a sharp, sharp knife, too. Watch the toad miss thing. But you know, right? You have to know. You're the only other person I've ever seen. Or at least the only one I can remember. Don't give me false hope. Please just end this already. One way or another, just do it. As the princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. We can do that? We can do that? I don't like this. You said you'd been here before, right? Does it matter? Yes, it matters. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed, supposed to Whatever see. you saw last time, unsafe. New plan. Let. Uh. Okay, no, this is gonna be the. I think this is gonna be the exact same. Okay. It's just different dialogue options. Let's try. You. Hi, I think I'm here to kill you. <laughs> Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. You walk down the stairs. Oh, no. Okay, this is the same one. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Load this one. Just checking oh, in on you. It's been so long. Never mind. Right. No, that's the same. No, it's the same. Wait, hold on. Wait, same. wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you know, we're gonna go. We're gonna start from here. I think I entered the basement with a blade this time, so if I just go with it. Are we really it? doing this without a weapon? Once again, I'd like to remind you that she's unarmed. Well. But you're right. This would be a lot easier if you had the blade. The door well, of the basement creaks open, revealing what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic. That's right. Screw me, I'm telling you uh, her greeting. I hope you've come to rescue me. Oh lord. There's something so wrong. Yeah. She thinks she's better than us. Like she doesn't even have to put As you descend the final step, the form of the princess <laughs> comes into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. I feel like I'm listening to the Magnus Archive. <laughs> Because it's the person from the Magnus Archive speaking. That that's the narrator who's doing all the different voices. I wonder if she remembers us. Finally, somebody! Quick, get me Come on now, we exactly. She said What are you waiting for? Yeah You are here to rescue me, right? Um Yeah, exactly! It is exactly that person! Yeah! Um, yeah, I'm not trusting the spy. It's boring if you leave. That's crazy. She's bored? That's absurd. She doesn't get to be bored. Not in a way that- <laughs> Oh! In a sudden burst of movement, the princess leaps towards you, a blade erupting from her free arm, her wrist limp and empty from the violent I expulsion. To. Hold on. Huh. So I guess she did have a knife of her own after all. Sir! That, uh, just reminded me, um, uh, uh, hi, uh, hi, um, be sure to check that out if you're here, um, this game gets a little gory, but I, I think this is cool, personally. How conciliatory of you, at least we're safe here. She and those chains stop her from continuing her advance, at least for a moment. Now you say that. She looks down at them with something between annoyance and confusion. And then See, she slices through her arm. I just feel like that's not. Sh Look how unbothered she is by doing that. Okay, maybe we aren't safe here. You don't say. She doesn't even ah! before darting towards you with it. That won't stop us from trying. Run, 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 <laughs> run, run, run. <laughs> that won't stop us from trying. You sprint for the stairs, but 
I wasn't exaggerating when I said she was running at you with a terrifying speed you couldn't hope to outpace. We don't make it, do we? Oh. No. You feel her blade in your back before you make it to the first stair. I'm going to kill you now. Okay. And with a squelch, she does just that. Everything goes dark, and you die. Oh, hello! Hi, I'm Bojo Raiders. I feel like doing well. Welcome, welcome! Thank you so much for joining. Welcome to my little corner. Um, it's me, Danny Danny's Corner. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. Hope you had a good stream, Bojo. Um, I'm here playing, um, Slay the Princess. Hello! Um, make sure you do exclamation mark CW so you can see the content warning because it's a bit of a bloody sort of game. Um, so make sure you check that out to make sure you're safe. Um, this is also not my first time going through it. I'm essentially doing a, not completionist, but I'm trying to go through all the things I missed. So a lot, some of the things I missed. Um, so, uh, but yeah, I hope, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm very happy to have you all. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, I hope you all remember to take care of yourselves. Um, Bojo, do your post stream stuff. Um, and yeah, hello. I'm happy to have you here. Did the princess slay? The princess did. The princess did indeed slay. <laughs> the princess is slaying. No way out. I can't remember who's on the story. You're on a pub. No, fuck that. If we're gonna have to keep. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh. Uh, where's a point where. Let me think. Yes, the narrator is Jonathan Sims, yeah. And he does a pretty great voice. Um... Let me see... Oh, right, you know what? I'm gonna see... By the way, heavy spoiler warning for this game. I'm just sort of clicking through it. So, I, this is a really good game, so I highly suggest just actually looking through it before getting yourself spoiled and stuff. Um, but... I forgot. We're gonna go to what happened at the very end just to see um, the difference here. I can finally see. You can finally see me. Hello. Hello. Huh? Return. It's oh, been so long. And my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. Um, I think I ask all of these. What happens now? Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? Uh, a little bit. When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice, and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitudes. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? I told you, can I do it? Can I just do it here? I told you what was gonna happen when we reached. Hmm. Actually, okay, I, cause we, we did slay the princess the first time. So let me see, I think it's time for us to leave this place, but I don't know how to go, how to leave or where to go. Nothing brings me greater joy than to hear those words. The final peace lies with you. It sense to again it just feels like a lot of responsibility is on my shoulders oh wow oh wow okay don't just scare me what am i doing what are we doing you fall whoa okay you fall into yourself the body of an ancient creature stirs from hibernation 
from its hibernation, you feel sensa sensation in limbs you once didn't fathom. Everything here except for her is you. You feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale, but twisted and crumpled and bound in agonized tension to a finite plane. You can feel the glass of the construct pressing in on you, confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles. You push back and strain against it, but it does not yield. I love you. Oh, I love you. Oh, this is darkly nice. My hand's so small. All at once, the unyielding tension breaks. Huh? What's happening? Oh, wait, what? What is that? Hello? You are free, and she is with. Oh, that's trippy! <laughs> hold on! Wait, that's very. Wait, hold on, hold on, that's very trippy. Hold on, what's happening? Are, is that like grass growing? This music? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was trying to turn it up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's magnificent. <laughs> oh, it's so good. There are no words, no thoughts to describe absolute reality, something that simply is. What happens now? Everything, just like it always has been. And just like it always will be. You and she step forward into a thousand dawns and a thousand sunsets, each of which contain a thousand more. You exist and you are aware, just as you have always been and just as you will always be. Though conflict is in your nature, the two of you will never be alone, and the two of you will never know fear. You and she are finally home. Ah Hold on, what did I get? There are no endings, only new beginnings. Sorry, I I was sorry. I was so focused on the music there. That is that's so good. Sorry. Little creatures. Hold on. They're little creatures. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. That's wild to me. What if I'm gonna try what if we just start a completely new game though? Let's try starting a completely new game and seeing where we can go. You're on a path, path in the woods. You're here to slay, slay her. her. Um Have you considered- I- I never said this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider this? <laughs> Nobody wants the world to end. That's fair. I mean, maybe some people do, like nihilists, or very, very evil people, but surely you're not one of those, right? <laughs> no. Um... Sweet, I've always wanted to offer monarch viva la revolution. Spirit. 
Now, this is my first time going through it without turning the short away path first. to the cabin. A warning. She will lie. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't... Ignore him. The poor hero. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. It's normal. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only the blade is your... Um... What if I don't? I think I took it last time. What if I just don't? What if I just don't? What if I just don't do what you say? The door to the basement creaks open. Her voice. Hello? Is someone there? This hypnotizing. Don't let it fool you. I'm here to save you. Wait, really? I see. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. Sorry I'm clicking through it so fast. I, I know, I probably should. Sorry. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. <laughs> yeah, okay. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay <laughs> I focused. I am begging I'm not riding on you here. Hi. I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. forever. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. You were lying when you said you were here to rescue her, but regardless of your intentions, breaking her out of those chains would be a big mistake. Don't even try it. Uh, hold on. Uh, I'll see what I can do. You're only making this more difficult. Bro, hold on, let me cook. Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. Sir, trust the process. You're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy. Far too soft. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Uh... Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see. I'm gonna check upstairs. Okay. I'll be here. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the- Is someone else here? Try. You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. Hey! Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. Narrator, this feels great. This, this feels like you're metagaming a little bit. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. That's crazy to me. <laughs> You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here Okay, together. so this is the part where she starts biting and tearing off her arm. So, warning for that. She barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth as she rips her flesh from her bone. A sound cut It's the blade from ah! upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It's okay, time okay. to strike. It's now. Looks like she needs a hand, uh, you or know. we could use it to free her. A little bit. You won't like what happens if you do that. Now, last time we saved the princess, as we should have in this moment. However... However, comma. Without hesitation, ah! bring the blade down and plunge it into the princess's back. Fine. Bro, I, I, just, I said to trust the process. The <gasps> wound drives her to the ground. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, there's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. Oh, okay. Well, I appreciate that. You, you bastard. Were you lying to me this whole time? Oh. Um. <gasps> the princess pushes away from you, the motion ripping the blade from her back. Well, how'd you do that? How did you do that? Wounded, but still alive, she crouches on all fours in the corner of the room and meets your eyes with the ferocity of a cornered predator. Oh, that's crazy. You've made a terrible enemy, and there's nothing in the world that can possibly save you from me. Okay. I thought we had the upper hand, but it's as if she's barely even threatening. She is slaying, you're right. She is slaying. I prefer she wasn't slaying me. 
She's wounded and unarmed. There's nothing she can do to hurt you. Narrator, if she pulls out a machete I'm from, not her, so sure. from, her, from her stomach Don't or something... Don't waver now. Yes, sir. Oh! Ready your blades to deliver a lethal blow. She lunges at your legs with oh! the animal ferocity she used to tear at her arm. Okay. <gasps> oh, wow! Send her again and again as you're tackled to the ground, your body racked with pain as she rips into you with tooth and claw. Oh, that's crazy. Forget about trying to rescue her. This is about survival now. Give her everything you've got. Sir, I'm really trying. She's sort of... She's sort of... Though your nerves are seizing with pain, you know you've done your fair share of damage as well. Your blade having left deep gashes in the princess's back. You seize a moment of hesitation to throw her off of you and shakily push yourself back to your knees. We can still turn this around. Can we? Maybe she'll bleed out. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. There's just so there's just so many things one can do. Um Lovers <laughs> enemies to lovers speed run. Um Ah, uh, hiya! To take another step closer to huh? the princess, you probably won't make it out of here. What alive, do you mean by that? But you can still make sure that she won't make it out. Of here. Mr. Narrator, excuse me. What's this about not making it out of here? Alive? Run that back. Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone in this room is still standing right now. Oh my god. Can you feel all those gashes and holes pulling you apart. If the princess doesn't do you in here, blood loss is certain to finish the job. That's crazy. Why didn't you just make that not happen? Take oh! another step forward, and the princess lunges towards you. The two of you oh my god. one last exchange, a flurry of blade and claw and fleshy ribbons. And then you stop. Neither you nor princess able to go any further. You collapse on the ground and the princess collapses beside you. Blood pools around you both, and you watch each other fade away. After all this time alone, I thought I'd finally found a friend, oh. but you were just another monster, weren't you? Silence, as the room starts to get Oh, that's a crazy away. sound effect. You've paid a terrible price, but you've saved us all. It's over. Is it? If you think this is it, you're sorely mistaken. One way or another, I'll make sure you pay for this. Okay. But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark. And you die. And you die. Thanks, bro. The witch? Have we done the witch? You're on a path. You're here to, to slay, slay her if you don't. Um. Uh. Which which is which? Let's just keep going. A warning. warning. She will don't worry. You can trust us to get the. Oh, job okay, done. early opportunist. Okay, opportunist. We have the opportunist this time. Interesting. What does this place look like? The interior oh, of the wow. is a mess of twisted roots. The walls a chaotic oh, wow. weave of knotted okay, wood that, almost as if by accident, just happened to resemble a room. The floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf, with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Okay. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the... What are you talking about? Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the. I don't know if that activates. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Right, I. Be calm. Um, we'll take the blade. You take the blade from the shelf. Well, if we're grabbing a weapon, we should probably keep it hidden behind our backs. She doesn't have to know we have it. That's true. That's not actually a bad idea. Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. 
The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an opening below. It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive maw waiting to swallow you up Hate into that. the earth. The air smells of dirt and copper. It's thick and wet, as if your lungs are being coated in mud with each intake of breath. Ugh. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favour. Let me get some Febreze in here. Her voice skitters up. Skitters? Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down. Don't be scared. I probably won't bite. Okay. I'm not nasty! But you are. You're a wretched little thing. Okay. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. <laughs> See, little sewers, that's crazy! Also, she admits in this one that she does remember immediately. She must have you confused with someone else. She seems friendly enough. <laughs> Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. Okay. You can't. Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. There's no reasoning with what she is. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? That's fair. Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? That's crazy. You need to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. I feel like these can both go hand in hand. Fine, fine. You're the boss. Me personally, I just don't think he is. I think I'm the boss, actually. Thank you. You descend the basement steps, entering the dark room below. Oh, she looks cool. You can just make out the shape of the princess in the bloom. She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. And there you are, one hand tucked away behind your back, gripping that sharp, sharp blade, no doubt. That's no fair. How would she know that? <laughs> That's no fair! So, we've dropped the pretenses. <laughs> the little mouth! <laughs> I love her! Good. Oh. She's acting like the two of you already know each other. Oh, no. You've already been here, haven't you? Si, senor. That's pretty sharp. How do you figure that one out? <laughs> Call it deductive reasoning. Get his ass. Oh, she's so weird and strange. <laughs> well, you seem to be great at it. Do you remember us, then? Do you remember last time? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if I'm not a part of it. I won't waste time fighting you on something that's clearly true. That's a first. I'm just glad we could put all this behind us. I just don't think that's what's happening. Is it all behind us? I think it's in front of us. Just focus on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now, so I'd appreciate it if you would take this seriously and slay her. I feel like the attitude is unnecessary. Let's chat her up a bit first. Maybe we can find a middle ground where everyone's happy. <laughs> yeah, you were saying, do you want some company before I kill you? Don't talk to her. You're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. I love doing that. Well, I seem to remember you having a tongue. E oh! 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 Everybody here got an attitude! Uh, I'm sorry about last time. Ooh, smart. Let's apologize. Get us back on the right foot. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, you're sorry. Isn't that nice? You're such a gracious little monster. Thank you. Well, if you're sorry, then let me out of here. Prove it. Well, uh, I get the sense you're unhappy with me. Is that a joke? Do you think a joke will charm my trust back? You'll have to try harder than that. I joke in the moments of stress. Uh...
don't worry. Oh, wait, hold on. Give her the blade! Ooh, this, oh my god, there's so many things. There's so many options. I'm gonna talk. We both died last time. Can I buy guys be bygones? You were the one who stabbed me in the back when I was still in chains. A dirty little thing like you doesn't get to decide when all is fair. Okay, listen. I don't know, man. Listen, <laughs> you, you was, you was just. There was just a. There was just a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? There was just a lot going on. Uh, things last time got messy, but I think there's something bigger than both of us, so we should team up. I suppose you didn't come into my hovel of your own accord, did you? All right. No. I suppose I could team up. I need a way out after all. And unfortunately, you're the only one I have. Again, I just feel like you could be nicer to me. Seems to me like she's offering a mutually beneficial <laughs> arrangement. We should take it. Do you know what the word mutually means? Because it sounds to me like she's offering an arrangement that benefits her and her alone. But then I get her company. She's so nice to me. Um, why do I have a nagging feeling you're going to stab me in the back if I help you out? And why would I do such a thing? Is someone's guilty conscience getting to them? Okay, that's fair. But I wouldn't worry. As much as I may hate you, letting you live is in my best interests. If you get me out of here, the only thing that will be dead and buried is the bad blood between us. Oh, that nagging feeling you mentioned is me, by uh the way. <laughs> only am actually a little anxious about a potential backstabbing event. Thank you, opportunist. She needs us to get out of here. We'll be fine if that's what we decide to do. You won't be fine because destruction is in her nature. If she gets out of here, that's it for the world, remember? Mm -hmm. Even if that's true, that doesn't automatically mean she's going to stab us in the back. Not quickly. I think that depends on your definition of words like stab and in the back. She might not literally do that, but she could very well symbolically do the same thing. I love her little tail. See? He gets it. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with it looking out for number one. Nothing wrong. Uh, I guess I'll cut you out of here. Oh, I don't need you to cut me out. What? The princess grins as the chains fall from her wrist. Um, well? She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little... A woman after my own heart, really. She knows how to hold her cards close to her chest. I just feel like... This is why she can't just be abandoned here. If left to her own devices, she'll find a way out. Now stop her. Hi, Biscuit! Um, yeah, I don't have to lift my brain either. That's why we're continuing. I'm looking at some of the other routes we missed. Um, because there's much more iterations of the princess that we didn't get to see. So now we're seeing one right now, which is the witch. This is the witch. Uh... Okay, um, okay, this is really where the different options come in. Hello, hello. Uh, okay, let's leave. Yes, let's. Stop. She creeps forward, taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. We're chill, right? Ah! She never breaks eye contact, even as the two of you find yourselves face to face. Hi. She's silent for a long moment, as if testing to see what you'll do now that she's within arm's reach. Never that, though. After you, darling. You're the one it lets come and go. It's best if I follow. <laughs> Glad creature. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. We can't have that. If anyone is going to turn their back on anyone else, she's going to turn her back on us. It shouldn't matter who leads and who follows. We're working together in Okay, well... And if it doesn't matter, then she can go first. We may be in this together. That doesn't mean we have to trust her. We're armed and she's not. What's she going to do? Bite us when we're not looking? Probably. You're talking a lot about trusting someone who, by her very definition, cannot be trusted. I don't know how many more warnings I have to dole out, but if you help her out of here, you're going to regret it. I don't think so. It's a ah! 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 You first. And 
turn my back on you. Do you think me a fool? Your tricks are one of the only things I've known. And I've learned better by now. Okay, that's fair. Just go first. <laughs> Just go! Okay, damn! I'm so stubborn. You're the one who said you can't leave here without me, which means I hold all the cards. Either you go first or we stay here. I will stay here for eternity. The princess leans close, her nose twitching as she sniffs your neck inquisitorially. Six feet. <laughs> what is she doing? I think she's trying to figure out if we're lying. So it's a good thing we didn't lie. She's, I, she's, 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 she's special. Your stink is the stink of a ratch, but not of a liar. If I have to go first, I'll go first. But I'll have you know my ears are sharp, and I've got eyes on the back of my head. They'll be watching. Okay. Eyes on the back of her head? Does she really? Maybe. No, we're <laughs> fine. Not opportunist. It's nearly March 2020. <laughs> Princess pointedly turns her back on you and starts up the stairs. Let's go. You follow close behind her, the two of you walking on tiptoes through the knotted roots of the basement stairs. It's time, boys. Stab her in the back. Do ah! it. Do it Wait, now. Whoa! Wait, I thought we were whoa! at the escape. Of course we're not. You didn't buy all that noise I was putting down, did you? I was just waiting for a moment for us to strike. She has it in for us, you know. Opportunist! <laughs> wow, that's an amazing idea! Well, oh, oh, okay. Uh, thanks for the- <laughs> Wow, that's amazing! I totally never saw that coming! Thanks for looking out for us! <laughs> Opportunist! That's crazy to me! I'm not stabbing her in the back! You do realize that she hates us, right? If we don't make the first move now, she's going to find a way to make the first move herself. And honestly, good Why for her. Why would she do that? She wants to leave, which means we need to work together. She knows that. She wouldn't just act against her best interests. Do I need to turn it? Hold on. I'm gonna- oh, voice is all the way up. Okay. I don't know. If I were her, I'd betray us. Look at me right now, suggesting betrayal. <laughs> You really need to learn to put yourself in someone else's shoes. <laughs> Look at me right now, suggesting betrayal. I love, I love, I love, I love. I'm with that little weasel. Whoa! You have an opportunity to save the world. You should take How it. long has it taken us to get up these stairs? I said I'm not stabbing her back. I make the choices That's here. That's a great idea. See, this is why you're in charge and I'm not. You think things through. You stick to your guns. It shows real leadership and more people should be like Exactly. We're almost there. You better not try anything. I know you're thinking- It's it. not me! Us. No, never. I can't believe she'd even suggest that. The gore. You can stop talking now. The princess reaches the top of the stairs oh! and crosses over the threshold, turning back to smile at you. Hi! Bye-bye, you loathsome little nuisance. Wait, what? And then she slams the door oh! on you. Lock swiftly clicks ah! in place. Ah! That's fair. <laughs> Maybe not stabbing her in the back wasn't such a great idea. No, that's fair. It's she. That's fair. The princess cackles from the other side of the door. <laughs> How does it feel to be locked away and forgotten by the world? Isn't it just awful? A little bit. Um. Okay, you got me. Very funny. Can you let me out? No, you're going to sit down there forever, languishing. That's crazy. Um, I promise I won't be mad. She's so silly. <laughs> She's so silly. As if I could ever trust you after everything you've done. I to me. stabbed you. And after Wh what I've done to you, you can't trust me either. Neither of us is ever getting out of here. I stabbed you one time, and then a couple more times. It's in our nature to be trapped. Oh, wow. I thought you needed me to get out of here. I do, but I just couldn't help myself. And we both know that you're already scheming about how to get back at me if I ever open this door. No! So we're going to stay exactly as we are right now. For as long as either of us live. You are so petty, I love you. 
You tried. No way you locked. locked this though. You throw yourself against the door. It won't bust. We have a knife! Figure it out! <laughs> oh no. What happens now? That's crazy. Why isn't he saying anything? Oh no way! Uh, I think he's gone. Oh! Uh, huh? Oh! I didn't think I'd ever have to see you face to face again. Otherwise, I might have given you a little more courtesy at the top of the stairs. <laughs> no hard feelings, I'm sure. Oh. Oh. Why is everything going away? I feel. cold. Oh, sorry, Miss Thing. <laughs> Yeah. Tee hee. But you don't get the chance to respond. Something has taken her away and it's left something in her place. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? I don't know where she went, and I don't know how we even- Oh, right, because this is our first time seeing this technically in this. Okay. Does this mean we won? I don't know. Right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. It's a really nice mirror, objectively. The narrator's also gone. Can we talk about nice. that? Does that mean the world ended? Maybe a little bit. We're top of the pecking order now. <laughs> right, boys? Uh, is there a pecking order if we're the only people there? something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. <laughs> Yippee! The world ended! If he thinks it's bad, I'm with him. No, okay. Well, well, just because you think it's bad. I'm begging you, don't do this. Well, the mirror never scared you before. It's different now. It feels... I don't know. You approach the mirror. Silence, they reach forward, they're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. Yep, still look like this. It's me! It's me! That's me! Hello! Bop, bop, bop. Also, all of this is us, technically. Let's see what she looks like. <gasps> you are at the cabin. Oh! finds me in the long quiet. And brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> these things always making you look like the horrors. These, these dug on filters. Uh. Okay, interesting. So this is what she looks like. I I won't go through the questions again because I think we've technically all gone through all of these. Um, what happens now? Nothing, as we are, but I know there is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Okay. Bring me more perspectives. Got you. Uh, okay, make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. That's cute, I'm prepared this time. You will. I'm prepared this time. Prepared. An untrusting vessel. Bring the witch to her. Your honor, you're here. Yeah, okay. Save. Go to here. Load. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go through these three. Load you. What if I run? The princess is still chained to the wall. There's nothing she can do to stop you from getting out of here. What if she doesn't succumb to her wounds? Whatever she is, she is so much more dangerous than I thought she'd be. I'm sure. Yeah, take some time. You rush up the stairs Bye. and dive past the threshold. Peace out, Miss Thing. You're safe. For now. You close the yeah. door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Okay, we can make this work. She has an awful wound and we have all the time in the world. Exactly. Playing jailkeeper for a while might make things a little easier. We can just chill out! You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. No. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're 
they're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? Okay. It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. Oh, okay. it's probably a good idea to try okay. to get back on my... Good. She sounds terrified as she violently rattles the door. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you okay. apart in peace. How did you get up the stairs for peace? You don't know the kind of... It doesn't sound... No. It doesn't. We oh sorry, it doesn't matter she's getting any weaker. I, we already went through this. Um Bang on the door all you want, it'll only make you bleed out faster. Do you think a couple of cuts is enough to do me in? I'm not as frail as you think. Well see how we'll see about that in ten years, bestie. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can. I go home too up against the wall. Middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped, and the door to the basement is ajar. It's lock broken, and the table shoved. How would you do that? Where is she? Where? That's a good question. It's oh my god! We get out of that awful basement. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's, it isn't all at once. I okay. The paralysis comes in waves. First, your toes, toes go numb. In your Dang. Then your feet, then your legs, you like torn and floor the cabin was doing. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. Yes. So helpless. We already saw this. Take my she steps closer. Oh! One silent footfall at oh! a time, cocking her head and oh! closing her feet. Your organs shutting down one by one. Oh! I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. Oh, it's a shame. Breath. If you'd only help me get out of here. Your lungs stop drawing. I'd say better luck next time. But we- It can't be. I'm sorry. Everything goes it's dark. and you die. And you die. You're on a path in the woods. <laughs> I'm gonna curl my liver. You're here. Did we do the day- Did we- Did we do the nightmare already? I think we got the- Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. See what... Hmm. Frog. A little vessel, a weird vessel, a trusting vessel, a scattered vessel. Uh, see what hides around her mouth, water and steel. I can't remember if we've done. Hmm. What if we proceed? Oh, uh, she will. I don't think love. It doesn't matter. Don't trust any. The parent. Did we have the paranoid? Let me see if I recognize this room. The interior of the cabin is I clean. think I do. The smooth wood of the walls almost featureless. The blade is... Hold on. It's just an empty frame. Ah, no, I remember this. Okay, hold on. No, I remember this. 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 Okay. Uh, let's go to... What if we... Give up? Are you serious? What's left of your blood pools around you on the cobblestone floor. The blade falls from your trembling hands and clatters uselessly against the ground. I suppose you simply lacked the will to finish the job. The princess, <gasps> wounded but still alive, nervously jumps at the blade and kicks oh. it far away from you before retreating into a dark corner of the room. Her shining eyes watch you from the dark. Oh, wow. Unblinking and curious as you bleed. How am I bleeding out and she's fine? We can only hope the wounds you managed to inflict will be enough to at least delay her escape from this place. That's crazy. If we're man. very lucky, they'll kill her before she can reach the outside world. After all this time alone, I thought I'd finally found a friend. Then I just but spared you. But you were just another monster, weren't you? I just spared you, This though. is the end, isn't it? Before you can answer, everything okay. goes dark. 
The Beast. Wait, that's different, right? That the one was the witch. This is the Beast. You're on a path. You're here to slay her. Proceed to the cabin. A warning. She will. Does a cat lie to a cornered mouse when it plays with its freedom, or is it just acting out its nature? Okay. Is this beast a mystery? <laughs> oh, I hope I not. Don't see why that matters. A lie's a lie, and if anything, she's the one who's cornered. I don't think so. She could have gotten out of there whenever she wanted to. We should trust nothing that she tells us, only what we hear and smell. Okay. That's a very roundabout way of saying that you should listen to me and take this seriously. I understood, Maybe. Sir. Maybe. What does this look like now? The interior of oh. the cabin is ruinous and dilapidated. Oh. It feels like no one has lived here for a long time. Wind rushing in through cracks and holes in the wooden walls. Oh, the, the door. only furniture of note is a termite-eaten table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You want it if you want to do this right. Uh, oh my god. I Because then it's like, what if you don't take the blade here? What if you do? Um. Approach the mirror. You walk. What are you talking da, da, da. Why would the mirror clean? You reach forward. I probably don't even have to do that. Gone. But I just. I, it feels better if I do. What if I. Take it. You take the blade from the. The door oh, to wow. the basement creaks oh, wow. open, revealing what's left of an old wooden staircase. It's still sturdy enough that you can make your way down in one piece, though you'll have to be mindful of holes. The air seeping up from below is oddly warm and wet, as if you're descending into a jungle. Is it another creature? If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. She growls up the stairs. Wow. I can smell you. Hi! That's all. She sounds almost impatient, or maybe eager. Uh. You carefully make your way down the stairs. The last step gives way to the damp earth floor of a starlit pit. The walls are obscured by an impenetrable darkness, <laughs> giving the illusion that the room might stretch on forever. You brush against the wide leaves of plants that surround you on all sides, seemingly the only living things that occupy this strange underground wilderness. Bro, are we in the jungle? Welcome to the jungle! The jungle is pressing in on us, hiding her from view. She could be anywhere. Yeah, I'm thinking the large, the big lump. <gasps> you see only a flash of the princess before she scurries away into the underbrush, dragging her heavy chain behind her. Come back! Remember, She's just a princess. Uh, sir. She is certainly not just a princess. You're not helping. You're lying to me. It doesn't matter what she is. It only matters what she does. Her shining <gasps> eyes appear between the leaves, <gasps> staring hungrily at you Wait. from the darkness. Oh. 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 I can hear your heart pounding from the bottom of the stairs, fledgling. You're right to be terrified. Yeah. She's I'm like, so much more than you. And a little splinter clutched in trembling hands won't save you from me. Damn, that's crazy. A shiver rushes up your spine and pulls you upright. Okay. The air's shifting. She's getting ready to pounce. Move, now. Wait, we can't talk? Don't you hear that clanking? She's in chains! We're fine! No, don't eat me! Aha! Aha! Uh-huh. Uh. We don't have to kill each other. There's a shift in the humid air, <gasps> and something in the <laughs> lunges from the shadows, her maw unhinged and dripping, her eyes fierce and full of hunger. She is too quick to outrun, too nimble to outmaneuver, too determined to overpower. This is her domain. You are devoured. I guess that's it then, isn't it? Unfortunately for you, no. This isn't it. What do you mean by that? <gasps> a dark and caustic place. A thick, fibrous lining constricts around you, its slick surface impossible to grip. Your hands scrabbling uselessly at your surroundings as they compress in on you. Your lungs can barely expand in such a tiny space. Not that the humid 
Finite air grants you more than a few shallow breaths at a time. Uh! You spoke when you needed to act. The liquid pooling beneath you starts to seep into your skin. You itch, then sting, then burn as the acid begins its slow work. Oh, some teeth that she can't chew! When I killed you, I tried to leave this place, but it wouldn't let me. You belong down there, it screamed at me. The world is better off without you in it. The flesh of the princess begins to move, her thundering footfalls twisting you helplessly about. Your skin protests as the corrosive liquid sloshes around you, but there will be no respite for you in sight. The burning grows stronger, and you can feel layers of you being peeled away. Hey, narrator, can't you just say, and we die? But you, you don't belong down here. You came from somewhere else. You came from out there. So I consumed your dead heart. You what? And I carried it in my throat. Huh? And I draped what was left of you on my back. And I threw myself against that door. She stops, her muscles tensing around you. And through the muffling layers of her flesh, you hear the whine of straining metal. And with a pop, she lurches forward, your body lurching right along with her. Shoot, and then your eater says break down. I think that's crazy to me. Chains. She's loose. You don't say. But even then, it denied me freedom. You cannot fool me by draping yourself in decay. I know your true nature, and it is suffering. Gravity pulls at you as you're hefted upwards, the distant creaking of ancient wooden steps barely audible over the thudding of the princess's heart. Is she trying to escape because I'm in her? And then it was gone, and I was here. A new enclosure, a nicer cage, but still a prison. I learn from my wounds. You're alive now. We can leave together. This thing, I'm an acid. Does that work? Could she free herself if we're alive? Where did my knife go? Do you really need me to give you a definitive answer for you to understand that the situation is grim? Stop her. Do something. What? You still have that steel claw. Oh my god. Tear through her before we are her. Survive. Or we could use it to make this quick for ourselves. If she needs us in order to leave, we could at least deny her that. That is a bad thing to do. Loki? You could have asked me before swallowing me alive! <laughs> oh. Um, Jesus, I'm saving so much. There's so much to go back and look at. Um... You could have asked me before swallowing me alive! I acted on my will, fledgling. And you acted on yours. The strong triumph. And the weak submit or perish. Well... Uh... Okay. You know what? Yeah, spit me out or I'll kill myself and then nobody's happy. I'm so very, very patient. If it takes lives and lives and lives to swallow my way to freedom, and that is what I'll do. Oh. Your body is violently jostled, the disruption causing burning skin to slough from raw muscle, and you hear what you can only assume is the princess pulling against the door to the cabin. The cage is still locked. I don't think we can talk our way out of this. We are drowning in death. There's no more space for words. Um... What happens if I keep talking, though? Can you talk to the cabin? I understand it. And it understands me. Talking is for those who don't know how to listen. That's not... Your body is violently jostled, the disruption causing burn... The cage is just... I don't think we can... We are drowning. There's no space for words. You need... You need me to want you to free you, don't you? You can't force me to let you out of here. Hi, Lily. Every creature craves freedom. You will too before you die. Oh. Turns to banging as the princess desperately throws everything at the cabin door. Your flesh screams as your reddened, spongy body is hit with fresh oh, waves of blistering God. acid. You can't hold me forever. I, just because I want freedom, I just want to see what happens if we just keep trying to like, like delay. 
Just because I want freedom doesn't mean I want to give you yours. So you do want freedom. Loki. The click of what you presume to be a door ripples through oh, the layers oh, of wait. suffocating flesh. Oh, wow. But we didn't. Apparently, that was all it took. That's crazy. That wasn't so hard. That's crazy. Wait. You feel her take another massive step. Oh. And then another. And then... Hello. Nerd. And then... Hello. It's gone quiet, hasn't it? Hello. You can feel... Oh, wow. You feel a churning in the forms around you, and then a wet tunneling before you are ejected to a place that is nowhere at all. Oh, she I guess got... I don't need you to be a part of me. <gasps> How lucky for oh, you. Oh, wait, she looks so cool! Sorry, I like that this is... The, we only just now got to see the design. That's so... that's funky. This place is cold. Damn, she got it. Uh... Yeah, it's about to get colder for you. I want to see what the creature will look like now. Not the creature, but you know. She's gone. And there's the mirror again. I'm begging the mirror. you. Don't. This, this doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. Well. The thing reeks of death. Hmm. The voices will follow this one as you approach. Silence is referring to God, but the mirror remains. And I still look the same. It's me! Unless this is empty, it's quiet here. <gasps> yeah! It me quiet. And it brings me the gift. Of a fragile vessel. Oh, I do. I did. I really wanted to see what, what this would look like with the monster design. That's that's funky. That's funky. Okay. Um. Hold on. Where are we? We're at this one. So, by the way, during that. Ah, uh, thank you! Thank you so much! I appreciate you stopping by. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed the game. Be sure to- ch you should be sure to check it out when you can. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day. Um... Oh, wait, I have to... What happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I there is no exit. But bring me more perspectives. Okay, make me forget. She asks that I tell you. You, you won't. Oh, uh, by the way, Lily, I am like clicking through these a bit because I'm just trying to like look through like the different possibilities and stuff. So like dialogue and stuff I've already seen. I'm clicking through a bit, but I want you to see so much more of this game, Lily, because I think you especially would appreciate this sort of storytelling. So you for sure sure should look into it or watch the first vlog I did of it because I think you would really like this a lot. Yeah! Bring the beast to her! You're on a path. Okay. Yes. Now! Wait, no, 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 no. Load. Don't tempt my. <laughs> okay. Dig! Though you have little room to move, you use what strength you can muster to drive the blade forward into the thick walls of tissue digesting you. Oh, wow. I can feel you tearing through me, but are you swift enough for it to matter? Your body is oh, wow. jostled, the disruption causing burning... The cage is still locked. And then I keep digging! You slice again, <gasps> deeper, rooting through her meat with the tip of your blade. Oh, wow. at last... It finds her beating heart. Oh! The the you can't hold me forever. Uh. Oh, just slay the princess. Goodbye. So your body is dissolving, eroding into unrecognizable shapes. Your will drives it. Ah, oh, that's so Have cool. Time, and you will strike it. We're too late, aren't we? This isn't survival. This is spite. I'm very spiteful. No, it's something <gasps> better. It's fulfilling a noble destiny. 
Your lone functioning arm lashes out, stabbing up towards the princess's heart. So you found a way to kill me? Then we'll die together, and I will see you again soon. With those prophetic words, you do not draw another breath, your body tangled and melting in the cooling folds of the princess's flesh. Everything and goes dark, dark. And, and you die. But at least you've saved the world. <laughs> I'll well. save the world. Chapter three. Interesting. Huh? Wait, what? What's happening? What is this? We are a path in the woods. What? We have no beginning, and we have no end. But something cold and unnatural sits watching us from just beyond our edge. Hello? His gaze pushes against our borders, curling them in on themselves, preventing them from stretching to the places they need to reach. No, 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 that's all wrong. You're not a path in the woods, you're on a path in the woods. Who's even saying that? That's not... That's not the princess, is it? Oh no. How many times have you been here? Like... I think this is our third? Yeah. That's bad. That's very, very bad. It wasn't even supposed to reach two. If you're at three, well... No wonder things aren't the way they're supposed to be. Let's get our facts straight. What happened last time? What could you have- What could I have done? That sits beyond our edge speaks his logic into us. He tries to grasp at things that cannot be grasped. Yes, yes. He tries to stare with wide pupils at that which can only be held from the corner of the eye or with a passing glance. Shut up. The rest of you talk. <laughs> the rest of you talk! What did you do? Can she hear us if we talk? I can hear everything, little one. But you don't have to be afraid of me. There's no place where you end and I begin. Nothing can hurt you here. Not anymore. Oh. I like that. I don't feel so small anymore when you put it like that. Oh, oh man. That's because you aren't small, even if you act that way. We're both so much more together than we were apart. And we can be so much more still. Vast. Unfathomable. You're not mad at us for stabbing you in the heart, are you? <laughs> no. Are you mad at me for swallowing you whole? Like a tiny bit, but not that much. Uh, not really. <laughs> it all seems so petty right now. Oh, but, okay. She ate you. And now you're convinced that you're stuck together. What a mess. He doesn't understand. We aren't convinced of anything. And we aren't stuck together. We're one. This is how we're supposed to be. Can't you feel it? Uh... Oh, sorry, I like these. I don't like this. I'm supposed to be me, and you're supposed to be something that isn't me. Oh, God. I can't stop saving. This thing watching us, what is I'm he? I'm not watching you. I'm trying to help you. Okay, well, calm down. That's not an answer to our question. Tell him! Talk about it! I don't it. know what he is. I only know that he is something other, and that he wishes for you and I to tear ourselves apart. I do want that, but only because it's in your best interests. It's in everyone's best interests. You won't be able to slay her unless you remove yourself from her. Hmm. This is interesting because we know from the other roots that technically I think we were one, and then the narrator made us two separate things. That I was, you know? So this is interesting. He wants us to kill each other. That's the game. I don't 
I want you to kill her. Don't be charmed by her faux solidarity. You're not in this together. I sort of feel like we are, though, in like a little weird way. She's the only one who poses a threat to the world, and she's trying to make you go along with it. You don't have to enable her, especially when you have what it takes to stop her. How? I've had enough of this guy. Why should anyone do anything? This is fine. I like being like this. You can't just passively exist forever. Why not? not? with her. That isn't how it works. Why? The princess ate you last time. Stop passively vibing <laughs> with a literal predator and remember that your enemies remember what she's done to you and how much it hurts. Stop passively vibing with a we can't oh. go back to that. Oh my god. We can't go back to the fear and the hunger and the pain. Not after being something as beautiful as this. Oh, wait, hold on. Doesn't all that conflict feel so far away right now? So petty? We've been posed against each other by something that understands the strength of our unity. Uh, uh, I can feel a thumping. Heartbeat. I think we ended her Like a distant time. terror that keeps getting louder the more we pay attention. You mean like the person just yelled in my ear? Please, stop. If you let it in, you'll fall apart. I don't know what's happening! Don't look at it! Oh my god. I think we should hear out whatever it is that's trying to be heard. I like to take all options into account before making any big decisions, and what's the harm in just listening? Gaze at the terror in your heart or bury it now before it's too late. Oh my word. Please, don't make us remember how I was. Oh, man. And just like that, you start to fall apart. I can remember it now. I didn't like being eaten. I'd forgotten how much it burned. The air was so hard to breathe. She didn't care. She didn't care at all. All of that digging with the knife and we didn't even get to win. That was hard work. I wanted to win. And what's the point of being part of a larger whole if we're not the one in charge of that hole? As you remember the terror and pain you felt at the hands of the princess, you start to remember something else, too. You remember that you are a distinct being with a finite form and a mortal body. You can feel it. There is a shifting of the space around you, the infinitesimal movement of your molecules rearranging back into the shape of what you're meant to be. No! I devoured you! I won! I put things back the way they were supposed to be! Some divisions, when so, can never truly be mended. A cavernous gash rips across whatever it was you thought you were. <laughs> a cabin comes into being among the trees. It approaches, and it swallows your body whole. Oh! You find yourself blade in hand, exactly where you need to oh be. Oh my god! At the center of it all is the princess, a wooden and fleshy heart beating with an unbroken rhythm. You're filled with a sense of purpose. Strike at her. End this once and for all. I feel empty, don't you? I feel safe. She isn't dangerous anymore. We could leave her. We could both live. Well, this should be easy. If you're sure about it. I mean, what's the point of being king of the hill if there's no one around to be better than? Okay, that was... We'd just be... Sitting on a hill. Up to a summer nature, summer down. Do we have to do this? I don't know. You have to. You know you have to. Uh, I keep. There's just so much to go back to! Okay. I never. Me, Petty. You raise the blade, taking aim at her heart. Oh, that strike. didn't even feel good. I'm sorry. Oh, let 
look at the weight. Oh my god. Wait, really? It covered the heart. But you never seen her die. Something has taken her away. She's gone. And there's that. I'm begging you. This black thing, they think it's bad. Interesting. God, that, okay. <gasps> oh, oh, yes! Oh, that's so cool! And it gives me the gift of a fragile vessel. Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> Wabazel. Nothing as we are, but I know that there, there is no exit, oh, the but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can bring me more perspectives. Okay. She asks that I tell you to remember her. But I won't. You won't. Oh, wow. Sorry, the way that turned the head was... Bring the wounded wild, a wounded vessel. Okay. You're on a path. Okay, I have to go back. Sorry, I have to go back. I have to go back. Oh, the heartbeat. I didn't even notice that the first time. I never wanted to kill you, not really, but we can't be the same thing as each other. I had to put an end to whatever happened to us. Devious little bastard. If you think I'm going to let you free her, you have another thing coming. Sir, relax. That other thing is... Just have to wait and find out when it happens. Okay. Ignore him. His words only confuse us. Just do it. He's weak. Thinks he can boss us around when he doesn't have any authority. We're clearly the ones with authority around here. So we can do whatever we like. Cool. You're tired, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm... Ha <laughs> ha! <Whatever>. <laughs> Cut the princess down from the roots that bind her. I hope you're happy. Good luck getting her out of here. I'll figure it out. Oh! I didn't think you would do that. After everything. Oh, wait! Oh, the droopy... It's so cold. Without you. Wow. And that's another one. She's gone, and there's. I'm begging. Interesting, interesting, this... interesting. Hey? I wonder if at any point will we do, like, we'll make this the first iteration different. Something fine. Okay, yeah, this is the same, I think. Nothing. There is. She has you one. Is that a different one or no? No, it's the same one. Okay. You're on a path in your here. This one I was curious about. Bury it before it's too late. No, you can't bury that feeling. You can't hide from your. Yeah, the boss of me! The past doesn't have to exist. Our freedom is within us. We just have to find I it. I am eternal! But the past don't turn inward and find freedom! I am free and I am everything! You fall inward into a network of connections too vast for your mind to occupy. Are you a path in the woods? Are you a body? Can you even grasp? 
the fuzziest edges of the shapes that confine you. Oh, that's cool. We can change to fill them together. We don't need to be everywhere. We just need to test the boundaries. We just need to find the right place to be at the right time. Oh, like, I don't know what that is, but that noise, it gives me, like, this specific soundtrack or that noise is giving me Little Nightmares vibes, and it's really cool. You would do best to remember that some wounds will never heal. Some rifts can never be mended. Even in rebirth, some things never come back the same. What is he going on about? What does he know about oh, us? No, you aren't whole. You'll never be whole again. This struggle is meaningless. Whatever you think you're doing, you will fall apart. We don't need to be made whole. All we need to do is find a single corner of his cage and Corner? Break. That's a corner. That's me. There is a place you need to be. Just need to find it. You stretch and search and stretch and search, growing as you decay and decaying as you grow. As you strain beyond your limits, the ground around you becomes dry and unstable and crumbles into nothing beneath you. This place will fall apart before you find its end. This task, whatever it is you think you're doing, is impossible. All he has are words, and words aren't real. We're real. Words aren't real. We're real. That's right. I know a loser. Okay. See one. Call his bluff. Uh, okay. I can hold us together for a little while longer, so long as you trust me. I trust you, heart and soul. I trust you. If I have to starve you, if oh, I have to Jesus. sacrifice my world to keep the princess at bay, I'll do it. Oh! But you do find something. It's cold and smooth and gently buckles and cracks under the pressure of your consciousness flattening against it. Don't move an inch. Don't grow another blade of grass or harvest the remains of another dying creature so you can expand just that much further. Stop all of this. Right. Now. Oh, he sounds so desperate. I think it's too late for that, mate. A little bit. I'm at your side. Shatter it. And free us all. No, 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 stop! <gasps> But as please disappear at the sound of breaking glass, for a moment, you and she gaze through the tiniest hole in the world at the place you need to be. Job well done, team. Just like I'd planned. Relax. Is this what he kept from us? Is this why he made us kill each other? This... beautiful. Oh, man. We need to be there. We won't be safe until we are. Behold. And then it's gone. Where did it go? Why is everything so cold? But you never get the chance to answer her. She's gone. And there's... Oh, I'm begging that's... you. I don't even know what the... Oh, I don't understand. Oh, I do understand, but I wonder this... what happens now. They... But what is her? Will she just... Oh my god. Something finds me Whoa. in the quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Are you... I let her out. I'm sorry. That I promise. It doesn't hurt. No. Um. Are you the princess? She is. It's 
making you speak and okay i was trying to see what are you here you go i am so what do you i am a person a person a set of eyes witnessing from one perspective like we are ocean reduced to shallow creeks i'm trying to see what this one would be described as yes this one is like a shadow of me oh. twisting lines in search of answers she will make for a curious heart do not mourn her she has found what she yearned for. Okay. Nothing as we are. There is no exit. Bring me more. She asks that I tell you to. You won't. Bring the networked wild to her. You're on a path. Ah. You're here. No, it just does. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Was there another thing we could have done there? No, okay. What about this one? You can't just pass the princess. We can't go back to that. Doesn't I can feel like a distant. Please. Stop. No, okay, I think that I think that'll be it. Let's go here. And I slay myself. What happens? In an act of spiteful defiance, you pull your weapon to your throat, your shaking, ulcerous hand clenched tight around its hilt. And then you draw it across your bubbling veins. Damn. Your blood flows out, filling the tiny space inside the princess. You start to fade. A waste of a good life. Mm. It's better than giving in to her. Better than giving it to her. But in the end, the opinions of stray voices mean little in the grand scheme of things. Everything goes dark, and you die. Does this lead to the same wild? Yeah. We are a path okay. in the. Interesting. 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 I just wanted to see what that would do. Now! Here. <laughs> um, move. You land, <laughs> picking the direction on instinct. As you land, you're buffeted by a gust of air, disturbed by the sudden motion of a massive body, the princess. In an instant, she's pounced on the spot uh, where you could have been. Her chains rattling across the floor. Uh, Before you can blink, she's gone, vanishing once more into the shadows. You still feel her gaze on you. You're faster than you were before, but you're still meek, reactive, prey. You whirl around to find her, and your gaze oh meets my hers, God. a pair of shining eyes peering out at you from just beyond oh the basement my God. stairs. So she's cut off our escape. Shit, what do we do? She's right there. What do you want me to do? That's fair. She'll kill us if we try and run past what her. What do you want me to do? What if what if we what if we help you each other? You cannot reason your way out of this, fledgling. There's no compromise with what I am. Okay. At least she's upfront about her intentions. That's nice. What do you want? I want to swallow you whole. And I will get what I want. Okay. You have no exit. You have no hope. Interesting. You live and die by my whims. And my whims alone. Okay. Don't ask her what she wants. Just slay her. How Is do that you all the advice you, you have? We don't even know what she looks like. Some specifics would be very helpful. She's just a princess. Don't overthink Sir. it. She's clearly not. Do you see what we're dealing She's with? for another strike. We're on the back foot. The back foot keeps us nimble, keeps us alive. It doesn't matter if it keeps us alive if it eventually kills us. We need to take back the momentum. We need to do something. 
play dead? Okay, 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 okay. We're playing dead. I don't know. It's unexpected. It could work. As the princess lunges from the shadows once more, you collapse to the ground, feigning death. She lands directly on top of you with her full weight, nearly crushing you into the dirt, but then... Silence. <gasps> Only broken by the sound of your beating heart. It actually worked, didn't it? Only, what do we do to make her leave? Do we just keep playing dead? Oh. She sniffs at you, shifting her weight uncomfortably as her face finds yours. Her breaths are hot and oppressive against your skin. <gasps> Have you seen my great big eyes? Because they see you, fledgling. They see your heartbeat pulsing in your throat. Okay. Move. Now. Okay. But it's too Hello. late for you to move. Okay. I guess that's... Unfortunately for you, no. You are in a dark and caustic place. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Survive! Patch of jungle barely moving out of the way before the princess surges past you with a speed That's that makes her practically crazy. unseen. Oh, we're back here. Um, the princess went raw and I run. Now's our chance. And I and book it. We need a plan. We'll figure we it don't out. plan ahead. Act on the now. All that matters is that we stay alive. As you turn to sprint for the stairs, you feel the air. <gasps> oh, God! You instinctively glance behind you just in time to see the princess lunge from the shadows, more unhinged and she's too quick to outrun, too ni- I guess that's it, then. Okay, yep, that's it. Oh, wait, let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Unfortunately for you, no. You are in a nope, dark. Nope, it goes back to here. Okay! Why the princess like that? Well, you know, we've made some choices. Wait for her to strike and hit her back. This isn't going to work. We're in her domain. So you're if not we helping. Keep dodging her forever. We're going to get tired. We're going to slip up. There's so many we choices. Have to take a risk. We're currently at. Oh wait, we got 30 achievements. Oh, look at us. We've got the 30. Okay. As the princess lunges from the shadows once more, <laughs> you to lash out. It strikes, cutting hey, deep. There we go. The princess loses her focus, crying out in pained surprise as she crashes into you. This is fine. Your sense Ow. sprawling, and can already feel the massive bruise blossoming on your ribs as she scrambles back into the darkness. Ha, look at that. We wounded her. You can bleed. She wounded us. Bad trade. Sir, can you be happy for once? That hurt. Are you just the cornered animal you seem to be? Or could you be a rival? She oh my! Back, oh no! Then leaps at you, more forceful, more ferocious, more serious. The scuffle is brief, and though you inflict a few deep wounds, you find yourself quickly overwhelmed by her savagery. Oh damn! No! Floor, oh! She wastes no time before pouncing on you in a flurry of claws and blood. Your nerves barely able to keep up with the onslaught. Hmm. By the end, you're lying in a nest of your own oh. intestines. Okay. Spine severed, blood rapidly draining out onto the jungle. Well, if you know what attempt was made. The princess, drenched in both her blood and yours, idly prods your body. No, that's it then. Cornered animal it was. Do better next time. I still need to devour you. And it doesn't count if you're dead. Well, we're not dead, we're... But you don't have time to protest her dead. premature observation of your death because everything goes dark and you die. She does have a nice place. The den. Here we go. Next. Okay. New chapter. New chapter. New chapter. You're on a path in the wood. Yeah, we are. And this time we're not going to run until we die. We're taking her head on and we're winning. You felt her. She didn't have a soft underbelly. She didn't have blind spots. Oh! What could we have done that would have saved us from her hunger? Oh if someone Lord. tries to make you dead, you have to hit them back. You have to show them your authority. 
There's nothing worse than a bully that thinks they are. Great. So you've been here before. That doesn't bode well. You're not supposed to have been here before. This is supposed to be one and We've done. been here several times. Oh, shut up. It bodes fine. You're the reason we're stuck in this shit situation. Now I have to do the hard work of dragging us out. Okay. And how do you intend to do that? Good question. We're going to fight her, and we're going to win. There's a reason she slinks around in the shadows. Well, no complaints here. <laughs> now hold on. We're not just going to let the fact that he knows things about this whole Lupin situation go, are we? Uh. He's not important. He can have his secrets for all I care. She's killed us twice now, and that's enough of a reason for us to want her dead. I'm done with this. Bye! Uh, what's the plan? Like I said, we're going to fight her. Didn't answer my question. But we're so small. Oh. We don't actually know how big she is. Is. We just know she wants us to think she's big. And if she's going to treat us like <laughs> prey again, then she is sorely underestimating us. One good wallop. That's all we need to put her on the defensive. I feel like we did that. I feel like we gave her a good wallop, and then she walloped us back. Uh, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save over that the same one because I feel like just yeah. The path is different than before. Ground is ground. It doesn't matter what shape it takes. We'll adapt. I can't point out. I can't. I can't make observations. If it looks different, that's because the situation has started to spiral out of everyone's control. So please, disavow yourself of the notion that you can just come back here and fix this place if you manage to make a mess before that line of thinking leaves you yet another world in ruin. Though, as evidenced by you dying twice. It's safe to assume the fates of the worlds you've left behind don't concern you. Sir, I'm really trying my best. This is always a word. It has a nice melt. Consider feel. this your last opportunity to make things right. For you and for the rest of existence. But especially for you. We don't need your pep talk. I'll make sure we pull this We off. don't need your pep talk. What if we just leave? Yeah, she was still there last time. I'm not so sure she can free herself without our help. Maybe not quickly, but it's inevitable. That cabin won't last forever. Okay. Okay, no matter what happens next, it seems like all our answers are at the cabin. You make your way oh down to the cabin. Oh my goodness. Your fated confrontation awaits. You know what to do. Oh my goodness. We've already been over the plan. We really haven't. I'm not sure that use violence counts as a plan. You said attack. It's a better plan than you had last That's time. That's exactly what we did last time. I don't like this. But I'll try to keep us breathing. Appreciate it. The interior is dark and overgrown. <laughs> Vines and brush obscure so much of the place that had you not seen the exterior, you might not have noticed this was a cabin at all. Oh, the only furniture of note, if you could call it that, is a knotted stump, a pristine blade embedded in its exposed rings. Can you imagine how long it would take to do this art? The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. Take it. We're not fighting a monster without a blade. Great. That mirror's back. And it's where the door is supposed to be. A long while. What are you talking about? There is no mirror. It's just the stump and a narrow tunnel that leads to the basement. Interesting. He isn't tricking us. Can you feel the wind? It's telling us there's a hole in that wall. Our eyes deceive us. If that mirror's blocking our way, just smash it and be done with it. Hmm. Oh, it's interesting that I can also... I can still go... There's a whole way of doing this without taking the blade here! Oh my god. There's just- it just feels like there's just so much to do. It just feels like there's so much to do. I'll take it. Yes, take the steel claw. You pull the blade from the stump, gripping it tight. Good. One step closer interesting, to Interesting, interesting. Approach the mirror. You step forward, approaching the small hole that leads to the basement, hesitating before you enter the princess's lair. You heard him. Stop hesitating and smash that out. I'm not- I'm observing. It isn't part of this place. It's seeped through from somewhere else. I'm very familiar. It, if there even is an it, is a hallucination. Like you said, you've been here twice before. Your mind was bound to start playing tricks on you eventually. 
it went away after we reached out to it last time. Might as well try wiping it clean oh again. What's the arm? And can you imagine? Like, here's the thing. Like, they only like this line is only said because I did that last time. So that means there's a whole other thing, like path where this line wasn't said. If I didn't like try to wipe the mirror clean last time, I did this. There's just so many factors. You bring your fist crashing down into the open oh, hole okay. leading oh. to the basement, throwing yourself off balance and tumbling headlong into the pitch okay. black. Okay, that's fair. Okay. Um, okay. If there were once stairs leading into the basement, there is nothing left to attest to their existence now. There is only a long tunnel of packed earth, growing more narrow as you descend. It smells of mold and decay. The damp walls leave streaks of dirt along your body as you're forced to hunch, then finally squat down on all fours in order to continue. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favour. As you crawl forward on hands and knees, you're met only with the sounds of ambient earth. No voice slinks confidently up the stairs. No, no entity threatens violence or pleads for safety. Stay quiet. Don't give her a sound. Bro, we fell. You say nothing, maintaining the silence as you carefully make your way down into the basement. The basement is oh, dark and what? cavernous, a gaping maw threatening to swallow you whole. There is no light here, save for what little starlight has managed to filter down the tunnel. And though you can't see the vastness of the space, you can feel it. You're exposed. It doesn't matter if we can't see down here. We know where she is. Do we? Okay. You step into the shadows and are enveloped in total darkness. Your heart pounds in your chest, mm. ears pricked, eyes wide despite the inky eyes blackness, wide, volume on high. waiting for any sign of movement. There, she's about to strike. Stop! <gasps> With the near silence of a determined predator, the oh, princess erupts from the shadows. Yeah! <laughs> Swinging your blade, its tip intercepting her before she can draw first blood, she recoils, stunned for a brief moment. Ah, oh, that's such a cool design! See, I told you. We needed to assert our might. We needed to prove to her that she can bleed too. She'll doubt her every move now. She <laughs> can bleed with even more ferocity than before. But that voice in your head wasn't wrong. Oh, Within so that ferocity, cool. there is also hesitation. Not much, but enough. The word is spoken between you and the princess as you exchange blows in the dark. The glint of bloody claws and fangs, the flash of wet steel. In the pit, all of your senses are heightened, each injury stinging like a chorus of insects, each small shift in your favour a major victory that swells your heart. <laughs> reaches a climax. We win? And... And... Oh! Oh! God! I, I... But he doesn't respond. Eyes glance at you from the untested threads of a world unraveled. Am I free, they ask. Oh. But you do not have an opportunity to respond. She's gone. And there's that... Just I'm begging you. Ignore him. This. Uh, screw them in. Feel small as you approach. They're gone. And I'm. It's me. It's quiet here. Oh, sorry. Did I mess it up? Did I mess everything up? No, okay. Ooh! Hello! Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's a cool one. Huh? Yeah. Uh, this is just... Isn't it? I love these visuals specifically, seeing what these guys- like, seeing what these look like. Like, what she looks like in these. Uh, what are you? I am so- Uh. 
Uh, what do you think I am? I think that you are- We are oceans or just the shallow creeks. Um, uh, the- this one I forgot. Yes. No. This one is consumed by instinct. A predator pushing those around her to adapt. She will make for a bold heart. She will make for a bold heart. She wishes me to devour you, to make you a part of myself. But she is only a voice. Oh, do you see how, like, the hand is interacting with this hand? This is so- <laughs> Candy! <laughs> You've joined at an interesting time. For she is part of something greater. Okay. Hi, uh, this is uh, one of many princesses. Um, we've been achievement hunting and seeing things we haven't seen yet. Teehee, what happens now? Nothing, as we are. I've gotten two rare achievements so far. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. I think I've gotten, yeah, I've gotten two rare achievements apparently, so far in this. I recognize this game. It's such a good game. There is no aggring me or pr Uh, make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You, you won't. Does she have a goat head? Uh, you know. And that was the den, a wordless vessel. You're on a cool. I'm gonna save that one. Okay, all right, okay, all right. Um, what if we go here? We just approach. I don't know what you're planning, but you're making my job a hell of a lot harder right without now. Without taking the knife. Steel claw makes us sloppy, too confident. We can, we have you this. forward, approaching the small. You heard him. That mirror isn't it. If it went away yeah, after we reached it. Uh, wipe it reach clean. Reach forward and wave your hand over the open hole leading to the basement. The voice of the star- oh, yeah. Yeah. We have- yeah. There's a lot happening. There's a- yeah, there's many- there's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> See? Nothing. Tricks this the, the haunted. No one sense can be trusted on its own. There's the haunted and then there's the hunted. <laughs> you step forward into the darkness. If there were once Upstairs. stairs leading into the bait smells of mold and, and decay. decay. As you crawl forward on hands and knees, take quiet. Did see. What if we um hydrate? Thank you. Don't give her a sound? Well, what if I did? Princess leaves your remark unanswered. I forgot she doesn't speak. See, she knows. We're past the point of words anyway. This is a conversation that can only be had with hard steel and sharp teeth. Damn. You put the voices to the back of your mind and proceed downstairs. down the... The basement is dark oh, and you. cavernous, a gaping moor threatening to swallow you whole. There is no light here, <sighs> save for what little starlight is. Oh, we bite, and apparently the princess. And though you can't see the vastness of the space, you can feel it. You're exposed. It doesn't matter if we can't see down here. We know where she is. Um, is that a tra- It is, actually. Uh, funnily enough, I don't think it's on purpose, but... shadows and are enveloped in total darkness. <laughs> your heart pounds in your chest, 
ears pricked, eyes wide despite the inky blackness. A <laughs> Oh, I could do that. Any sign of movement. I, I could do that. I could do that. Is dying out? Ooh! Share with Candy. Share with the people. What? You're gonna turn around the second she runs for us? You'll get us killed, you pathetic fool. Calm down. There. She's about to strike. Oh my god. With the near silence of a determined predator, the princess erupts from the shadows. But you've already started your swift escape. Yeah! Wait, what's happening? Stop it! Fight her! Trust me, bro. Just Conflict trust me. Conflict in your heart, though usually of little consequence, oh, wow. slows you down just enough. You don't make it into the tunnel before you feel her hot breath at your back, rushing up your spine and closing oh, what? on your neck. What? What? Hello? Death again. Huh. But death doesn't come. She's gone. And they're... Hold on. I'm begging. Oh, wait. Let me see something. She tried. <laughs> this. Yeah. Screw. Interesting. Gaze. Is it just going to be the same? Yeah, okay, 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 it is, it is, it is, okay. Um, load you. Approach I the mirror. Wipe the mirror clean. Say nothing. You say nothing. It doesn't matter if we can't see down here. And step ready to fight. You step into the shadows and are enveloped in total darkness. Your heart <laughs> pounds in your chest, ears pricked. Eyes wide despite the inky black. But there, she's about to strike. We're screwed. No, we've we can punched. Do this, even without a weapon. I'm no stranger to bloody fists. Yeah, watch me. Watch me. Then, the shape of teeth and eyes as the princess emerges, enormous maw gaping, ready to swallow you whole. And. And. I've got it for you. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, so yeah, that's. I think this is about it for this one. Uh, this princess is called the Den, or. Yeah, this one is the Den. A wordless vessel. How did we get here? I really couldn't tell you. Uh, <laughs> I really could not tell you. Um, okay. Okay, let's go. Oh god, where do I go? Um I've done all of these ones. Let me go maybe let's try here. This is for the what's your name? This is the untrust This is the witch. This is the witch. This is the witch. Okay. Um I don't want to... I don't want to hurt you, but clearly there's some broken trust. Take this as a gesture of my goodwill. You... You can't be serious. My gesture of goodwill. Uh, now, hold on. We should put this to a vote. The blade is one of our most valuable assets. We can't just give it to her. What if she uses it to kill us? I vote... No. My gesture of goodwill. As do I. Goodwill. I, uh... Abstain? That's my homie. You... Abstain. She's going to kill us if we give it to No, you. hear me out. This isn't a democracy. Haha, <laughs> yeah, never mind. That was such a silly idea. I'm not giving give it. She clearly hates us. You're going to get everyone killed. You know that, right? But of course you do. You toss the blade at the princess's feet. She eyes it with suspicion before kneeling down to pick it up. I wouldn't have done that. Why did you? Goodwill. She creeps forward, taking one cautious step at a time oh, until so you and she are face to face. Oh! What do you think happens now? I think I... my goodwill, though. Hey, that's crazy! <laughs> hey! Uh, that's up to you. It's why I gave you the blade. I chose last time and I regret it. So now it's your turn to choose. Her shoulders tense and her eyes dart away. 
This is another trick. You're trying to sow doubt, but it's not going to work on me. Oh! Then she buries oh. the blade in your heart. Oh! 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 What? No. No, come on, that's not right. <laughs> that's not right! <laughs> hey, hold on, wait! I told you. I <laughs> told you. This is what she, she wasn't. Do. She wasn't supposed to actually do it. Glee dances across her face as you fall to the ground. <laughs> I did it. I got you. You, you. The princess seems to tremble. Oh. Her smile fading quickly, Wait. replaced with concern. Her nervous eyes brim with tears. Wait, what? What's wrong? What's wrong? With Why? Why did you let me do this? But you don't have the strength to respond. Nor do you have the time. Um, Everything goes dark, and you die. She lo she cares. The thorn. You're on a path in the Whoa. woods. She stabbed us. She actually <gasps> stabbed us. cheated! That's where you come from. Okay, okay, this way. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Of course she stabbed us. We gave her the blade, which, I might add, I voted against. But the whole point was that she wasn't supposed to do that. The whole point of giving her the blade was to break the cycle of violence. And she just, she just killed us anyway. Break the cycle of violence! I guess it really doesn't matter if she killed us though, right? We're back here, which means that everything's fine. Or fine adjacent. I know I am! Listen, okay, we'll just do this one more chapter. We'll just do this one more chapter, and then we're gonna go back and if Maybe she won't be as keen to betray us this time. We've already proven to her that we can change. Maybe that's all it'll take to show her that there's another way to do things. You know, maybe you're right. In which case, I suppose the only thing to do is to get back to the cabin and give it another try. Do you not see the landscape? You what another try, exactly? You are aware I've been listening to you. Right? Don't worry about that. How long did it take to get to the tree? <laughs> Two hours! Um... Like that changes anything. We all know the game is rigged. It doesn't even matter if she's nice this time. I'm sure he'll find a way to turn us against each other. <laughs> Two hours! Great. Right. So you've obviously been here before, since you apparently died at least once. Twice, actually. Yeah, twice. <laughs> sure. Twice. <laughs> Oh, counting my first shirt. Then I'll oh. spare you the little introduction I had planned. You already know about the princess, and clearly you already know that she's dangerous. So don't muck this up. It's bad enough that this isn't your first time through. Okay, listen. It's not bad to be this long to get to the... Ch okay, counting my first stream. Six hours. But we weren't trying to get the specific... Six hours. We're go we're, uh, this place keeps this place is different. It keeps changing. Wonderful. If the woods themselves are changing, then that's all the more reason for you to take this seriously. It would mean your grip on things is slipping, which in turn likely means her influence is spreading. So whenever we get to a third chapter, the woods usually changes. That's usually how long that's usually when things start falling apart more. How long left of stream? Um, I might go... I'm not sure. I might go for another 20-30 minutes. I'll, I'll see how I feel. Someone's in the know. <laughs> Someone's in the know. I've had enough of these annoying little secrets. If you want us to do this, you have to let us in on your game already. All of your game. <sighs> I've already said too much. The more information you have, the more difficult your task will be. Don't listen to her. Definitely don't free her. And if you can, don't even think about her. That's crazy. Um. <laughs> yeah. I think the cheated is probably the one who's like. Maybe no. I think it's like the cheated, the haunted, and the broken are probably the ones that are the most like damaged by what happened. But that's because those are also probably the ones that occur when you've gone this far. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for the hydrate. My voice is giving up on me. <sighs> oh, 
We're even now. I'm sure she understands that. Well, we can see what she has to say for herself when we get to the cabin. Yes. Good. Playing both sides. That's what smart people <laughs> do. And you're the smartest in the room. Oh, Lord. I'm not sure it counts as playing both sides if people can hear you doing it. Buddy, you're thinking in far too few dimensions. There's layers to doing this right, and I'm pretty sure the one making the choices gets that. Trust in what plan. plan. Trust in what plan? The decider's plan. Sure, we don't know what the plan is yet, but that's part of the whole trusting thing, isn't it? The good leader knows how and when to keep things secret, and sometimes a good leader even knows to keep things secret from himself. Sure, we'll see what she has to say for herself, but don't forget that whatever she says is likely just as much lies as what he's been telling us. We should keep our cards close to our chest. Damn. If I were you, I'd remember what she's done. You know how dangerous she is. And you should know that someone like her shouldn't be let loose upon the world. Okay. Uh, let's approach. It isn't long before oh, you find wow. yourself at the base of the cabin. I think it's clear where everyone stands at this point. I don't know if I'd say... Every I just think I think we're just so far from being on the same page. I don't know why you would say that. You talking about me? I have a position. It's a good one too. <laughs> it's a good one too. Ignore him. He's just talking for talking's sake. My position is the only one that matters. Do I know you? Princess is Sorry. a threat to you. She's a threat to me, and most importantly, she's a threat to the world. You know what you have to do. Looks <laughs> neat. There's less trees. The interior of the cabin is ah! hardly an interior at all anymore. The burned out ruins merely suggest Flowers. the shape of the structure that once stood here, charred wood still reeking of ash. But beneath it lies the fresh smell of spring growth after rain, the promise of new life in the wreckage of the old. That's such a pretty description. I know! The only other time when there's like a different color has been when we've seen into like the beyond. And with the blood. But this is like actually like flowers. The only furniture of note is the crisp shell of what was once a table. A pristine wait, this isn't right? <gasps> this is supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? The knife's gone! There's no knife! We we gave it to her last time. She can't still have it, can she? Well, it's not here. And if she has it. Let me guess. You want to get all chummy with her. Look, as far as I see it, if it's between him and her, I say we side with the one who has the weapon. It's just the smart thing to do. I wouldn't okay. be so hasty. I'm sure the blade will turn up somewhere. She can't have it. That's not how this is supposed to work. Sir, do you, do you think any of this is how this is supposed to work? Of course we don't get to make a choice about the blade. Every single time we come back here, something <laughs> has to be different. He's so, he's so fed up. You step forward and approach the scorched entryway leading to the basement, hesitating before you begin the descent. It went away when we touched it last time, not that this place always follows the same rules. You reach forward and wave uh. your hand through the hollow entrance leading to the basement. What are you doing? Don't worry about it. Figures. <laughs> well, seems like the only way to go is forward, Figures. isn't it? Yes, that's where everything tends to be. Let's just put on a good face and have our wits about us. And then had to do two extra, just unbelievably done. That is called, that is the cheated. Step through the frame of scorched wood and make your way into the darkness below. The stairs to the basement are covered in a fine layer of gritty oh, wow. The air still feels warm, as if the fires that ruined this place had only recently been extinguished. Yet fresh shoots of thorny branches are already weaving themselves through the soot covered earth of the walls around you. Their spines point courteously down towards the basement, so you're able to brush past their jagged points with ease, at least on the way down. But you don't need to think about the way back up just yet. That's a matter for after the world's been saved. True. I'd say this feels like a trap, but you practically said as much. Yet you still want us to keep going. They're only thorns. <laughs> I'd say getting a few scratches in exchange for the lives of everyone in existence is a fair trade. I'm sure you'll manage. Her voice... Worn down by. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He didn't say it this time. Unless he's about to say it. But he, through all of these, he always says, like, 
If the princess lives here, killing her would be doing her a favor. But he didn't say it this time. I can't get away from you, can I? We kill each other and you come back. You let me kill you and you come back. I don't know why you let me do that. I don't know what you want from me. I don't know what I want. I never really chose to come here. I think you know how this goes. I'm down here and I can't leave. So, come down and talk. It's not like I can stop you. You continue down the basement stairs, brushing past the smooth edges of thorns that grow more and more plentiful as you make your way forward. You step out into what was once a vast open cavern, now overrun by briars and prickles and thistles, a space thick with hostile vegetation. At the heart of it all, Encased in a tight weave of she vines, has it is still. the princess. Her bloody, trembling hands clutching a pristine blade. Did you know this was going to happen to me? Are you here to watch me suffer? Are you here to laugh? Hi. If you're gonna be like that, I'm gonna leave! No. I'm not here to laugh. I'm here to free you if you'll let me. I... I want to trust you. Her grip tightens on the blade. But you're hiding something, aren't you? Why would you help me if you weren't helping yourself? No, no, because I'll need to. Okay. You're not the only one who yearns for freedom. I'm as trapped as you are. I think we need to leave together. The princess clutches the blade closer to her chest. You can say- I know! That sounds nice. I'm so tired of the bad blood between us. But it's hard to let it go. You've hurt me. Yeah. Her eyes dart away from yours for oh, a brief moment. Oh, man! And I've also hurt you. Is there nothing I can say to change your mind? I... I don't know. What can either of us really say at this point? How can we trust something as hollow as words? She's right. There's nothing left to say. So let's get a move on and do something before she comes up with a scheme to get out of here on her own. Careful with that one. He's not the smooth negotiator he thinks he is. But it does feel like we're stuck until we do something. If there's even anything to do besides make things worse. That they're repeating dying, not saying no. We're not making things worse. I think she wants to trust us. Maybe it's time for either of the maybe it's past time for either of us to say anything. All that counts is action. You reach towards her bloodied hands, laying your palm on her trembling fingers. For a moment, mm. she clutches it even tighter, her knuckles going white with the effort. But then the tension fades. Her grip finally <gasps> loosens and she allows you to take the weapon. You carefully pull it free from the thorns, though they scrape at your skin, leaving red trickles of fresh blood all along your arms. I'll be damned! She really gave it to us. It feels like it's been so long since we've held real power in our hands. I wonder what we should do with it. We free her, obviously. It's the right thing to do. I think you're right. She's as much a victim in all of this as we've been. <laughs> Besides, it would really stick it to him to free her. Uh. Or, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. Play her. Right here right now she's never been so helpless and if we don't take advantage of that we may never get another chance that sounds like a splendid idea you should listen to him we've all said our piece now it's time to make our move it's two against one it's two against two okay you don't you count don't count thank you uh and why shouldn't he count uh, because i said so because he's clearly not one of us 
That doesn't matter. He's been with us the whole time. He should get a say. So, did you mean it? Or was I a fool to hand my life to you? <gasps> oh, wow! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! I just wanted the splay back! <laughs> That's crazy! Hold on. I'm, I'm, well, I'm freeing her. I'm what freeing her. I'm freeing her. her. Oh, so you're suddenly team free her. You can't just switch sides as soon as we make a decision. I can do whatever I want, and I believe with my whole heart <laughs> this is I want. the right course of action. Let's free this princess. Yippee! Even if he'll stick a knife in our back as soon as he has the opportunity, it's still better to have him nominally on our side. At least that gets him to shut up for a while. See? We're all friends here. United in our actions and intentions. I don't think so. Yeah, united. But the other one has a point. If it keeps you quiet, sure. We're all friends. Take the blade oh. of the thorny vines imprisoning the princess and she flinches, relaxing only slightly as the blade slices into the thick vegetation rather than her arm. And she flinches again as the last of the vines is cut away, as if, after all of that, She's still expecting you to turn on her and stab her in the heart. But you're not going to do that, are you? Still, all it would take is a single slip of the blade. Is that really all you've got, threatening us with an accidental misstep? I expected more from you. <coughs> that blade didn't even waver when he said that. Yeah, you're right, he's a bit of a nobody, isn't he? <coughs> I've been on your side of all this since he's the beginning. He's a bit of a nobody, isn't he? The princess Aww. falls into your arms, tears streaking down her cheeks. I can't believe you're making me describe this. I hate you. <laughs> I can't believe you're making I love it. You actually meant it. You rescued me. Of course I did. She smiles, her hand Aww. slipping into yours, and the two of you rush to the basement stairs. Aww. Shameful, really, that the same thorns that so graciously allowed okay. you downstairs are now blocking your You're so hands. petty! You're getting desperate, aren't you? Even more proof that you can't actually do anything to stop us. We cut through those other vines just fine. They're only thorns. I'm not afraid of getting a few scrapes. Yeah, don't worry, I'm just watch this. I'm not sure we need to do any cutting. We can just move them out of the way. What a pathetic showing, really. Damn! A few pointy sticks can't keep us down here. We're both meant for so much more than this. Um, I'll try to cut into it, I guess. Yeah! As you swing your blade into the thorns covering the basement. Yeah! Yield. Both you and the princess Aww. ascend the stairs without obstacle. This is unacceptable. The second you step out of this cabin with her, the world ends. Do you hear me? What did the world ever do to you to deserve this? I don't this? know, she's pretty. It feels so good to hear you say that, that you're admitting you've <laughs> lost and we've bested you at your own game at last. I don't care what happens now. That's all I've wanted. Damn. You and the princess hesitate at the cabin door. This is your last chance. We've already made our decision. We're finally leaving here together, aren't we? And all we had to do was trust each other. It wasn't easy, but I'm glad we finally could. Step into your freedom. <gasps> Hands clasped, the two of you open the door and step out into a new day, you irredeemable murderers. What do we do now? It gets cold. Where's everything going? Don't worry about it, the flowers are really pretty, aren't they? Why is it so cold? Just look at the flowers, Miss Thing. You don't have an opportunity to respond. Something has taken her away and it's left something else in her place. She's gone. And there's that. I'm begging you. This, this is going to do something to us. I can feel it. If they think it's bad.
loner place. It's the quiet, the long quiet. Something um. finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. The gift of a fragile vessel? Yes. This one yearns for connection she feels she doesn't deserve. Even when shown compassion, she hid herself away. She will make for a cautious heart. Oh man! Do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. That's nice. Nothing as we are. But I know there is no exit. Bring me more perspective. Okay. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. Bring the thorn to her. You're on a path in the woods. <sighs> Ooh, okay. Um. Okay, hold on. All right. Okay. 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 Yeah. Slay the princess. We finally gained her trust. That took a lot of work. Don't worry about it. Sorry, boys. Looks like we've got our tiebreaker. <sighs> Sorry, bro. I'm cold hearted like that. Blade safely in hand, oh. you turn it on the princess and drive it towards her heart. But her thistled prison proves to be an impossible <gasps> obstacle, its thorns digging deeper and deeper into your flesh oh. the closer you come to striking the fatal blow. Oh. Those damn vines are going to stop us just like they stopped her. Of course. Like we should have expected it to turn out any other way. She did! It's funny, really. I'm laughing. You're just not. The tip of your blade only manages well... to touch her stern before it stops moving entirely. Oh. A single drop of blood trickles down the oh. chest as the two of you stare into each other's eyes. Oh. Um. Damn. Who did that? <laughs> hey. I missed. I missed. Come on. Just push a little further. But you can't. Can you? I missed, though. I knew this was coming. I can't believe I ever let myself hope for better. This was always going to be us, wasn't it? I missed. Oh, well, that's awkward. That's awkward. She's gone. Cool. Yep, okay. Okay. Uh I just want my blade back. You're on my own. You're on your own, bro. Do you really think you can just wash your hands of all of this? Do you really think you can just leave me here? A little bit. This is even better than stabbing her. The same reward without any of that nasty effort. It's not even better. Putting off a choice is always worse than making a committed decision, especially when you already know the right answer. Yeah. Almost feels like we're as bad as the powers that be. Is that all it really took to twist us into yet another tyrant? A single ounce of control? She won't remember it. It sure feels like it. She looks so... sad. Bleeding and alone. And we're just turning our back on her. Oh, okay. Oh, stop trying to bring morality into this. There are winners in life and there are losers. And what matters is that right now, we've decided to be a winner. Uh, I don't like this. Oh, sorry, Miss Thing. I'm sorry. But ooh, in your commitment to leaving things unresolved, you have no chance at resolution. She's gone. Interesting. I n listen. We did okay. If you're in a prison of your own making, I broke our cycle of violence. If you still want to wallow in it, be my guest. Do you really think you can just wash your hands of all this? This is even better. No, okay, it's, it's, not it's, the it's the same. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Okay. We just we go back one more. We go back one more. We go back one more. 
Okay. I don't trust you, not enough to free you, but and definitely not enough to get close to you. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Very pragmatic. That is what you're in. So this is back before what just happened. This is the witch. Abandoning me, are you? Fine then. Run. Tuck your tail between your legs and scamper away. You might be able to escape me, but you can't escape from what you are and what you've done. If I don't take you, the wilds will. What does that mean? You turn to leave, but as you do, there's a deep, huh? guttural groan, seemingly uttered by the walls themselves. What? Followed by the creak of wood being stretched beyond its limits. I'm so sorry? The cabin starts to get smaller. Narrator. What the hell is going on? We're getting out of here and saving our skins. That's what's going on. I don't think so. As the roots that make up the walls of the cramped basement attempt to close in around you, oh, okay. instinct kicks in and you bolt upstairs. The steps are uneven and lively, creaking as they expand out of the dirt floor, the stairway growing smaller and smaller as you dart up towards the light. You manage to squeeze through the door just as the entrance seals itself shut behind you. Ah! It's smaller than it was before, and it's getting even ah! smaller and smaller. Oh! That's no! fine. We'll just leave. I'm sure you'd like to do that. But unfortunately, there is no longer a front door. The roots have already closed over the only possible exit. What little light peeks through the holes that were once windows is growing weaker as the cabin continues to close in on itself. Oh, wow. Shit. What do we do? I don't know. As your mind races for an answer, you hear the princess's voice crackle up the stairs. Do you hear that, you love something? Those are the roots of the wild, and they're coming to choke the breath from your lungs and squeeze the life out of you. Oh my god. Uh, what about you? They'll crush you just as easy as they'll crush me! As long as you suffer while you die, I'll gladly suffer with you. Especially if I get to hear it happen. That's crazy. This doesn't help anyone. I can't believe she'd kill us both just to spite me. I can. See? This is exactly why you were tasked to slay her, and why you shouldn't have left her in the basement. Okay. She's an antisocial monster who'll gladly burn the whole world for her satisfaction. I just... okay. Oh no. Let's grow ever closer. We know. We can see them. <gasps> we can see them! Why though? Why are you doing this? Because it's in my nature. Just like you coming here to hurt me is in yours. It's who I am. It's a comment, yeah. That is extremely not us. We're just doing what we're told and making the best out of a difficult situation. We didn't even try to kill her. We just left her here. I just feel like personally. It's the same thing. Okay. It isn't. Oh! You feel against your back. A thick root pushing its way into the cabin. An unstoppable. Unyielding oh, warm bark. Oh god. We're running out of time. Shit. What, what do, do you do? want me? What do we do? You're saying I'm running out of time, like I can't just talk my way out of this. I can't see it, but it sure sounds like they are. No, oh, what's the matter? You're scared of thorny roots digging into your neck? Are you scared of suffocating in this dark, dark place alone? Good. Okay. That one made me feel bad inside. I don't want people to think we're scared. Nobody likes someone who's scared of things. You are so... I, for one, think this is a perfectly reasonable situation to feel scared in. This place is getting awful tight. Okay. You slump to the floor as the roots continue to expand into the cabin. Ugh. We're never going to make something of ourselves with that attitude. Sir, we're dead. she isn't going to make something of herself either. Because she's dead. Oh, okay. first, it's almost gentle. Your body being lifted delicately off the ground as the floor shifts beneath you. But the cradle of the growing roots starts to feel suffocating, then unbearably tight. Then that tightness gives way to bulging pressure as they begin to constrict. The sound oh! of wood is drowned out by the snaps and pops of your bones, pain flooding your senses as you feel your skin deform being shaped unnaturally by the living cat. The suffering is what you deserve, you hideous creature. Know as you die that you are hated. I hate you, and I'm glad to die horribly if it means you die with me. I wouldn't have it any other way. Didn't feel great. The pressure is unfathomable. You can't breathe, your vision swimming with red, your head pounding with trapped blood. And then <laughs> you pop. Everything goes dark. And you die. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Just, okay, hold on. That's leaving. Uh, and then what if we try to attack her? I don't think we did that. I like to be straightforward with my intentions. I didn't care how you treat me last time. I think you might be an issue to the world. So I'm going to attack you now. Do you think that being direct with your ill will frees you from its wickedness? Mm, no, just felt good. Murder and betrayal are still murder and betrayal. Whether you state your intentions or keep them hidden <laughs> So romantic. Aw, oh, she likes me. She wanted us to See, suffer together. This is why we never tell people what we're actually thinking. She's just as mad, only now she's ready for well, us. I wanted to be up front. Still, better a violent fool than a plotting coward. Better for me, I mean. As you close the distance, readying your strike, she throws oh, a fistful of dirt uh, to your Oh, head. oh, oh, oh! You must have known I would be ready for you. Deep in your heart, you know the same things about me I know about you. We're both so very awful. As you brush the silk from your eyes, the princess tackles you, flattening you against the dirt floor. Hey! We were always going to kill each other here, weren't we? I can't trust you, and you can't trust me, and those doubts spin and spin and spin into hate. Hi. Oh! Deep into your chest, tearing it. Great, she's distracted. Stab her in the back. <laughs> in for a penny, right? Why not? As the princess rips meat from bone, you plunge your weapon into her unprotected back. Uh. Oh wow. Bastard! Even face to face, you find a way to stab me in the back. I know you, and you're hideous, absolutely wretched, just like me. Oh, that's nice. Maybe we are the same. So what? Throw her off us. Kick her in the shins. Kick her in the shins. We don't have to fight so dirty. Of course we do. Fighting clean won't help us win. It takes a wretch to know a wretch, and we're all at the bottom of the barrel here. There's no point in pretending otherwise. Are we at the bottom of the barrel? We've got dirt in our eyes and a chunk of us chewed out. That's not the bottom of the barrel, what is? Uh, us being dead. No arguments here. You're doing great. Keep playing dirty if that's what it takes. Sir. Hi, Lem, what's up? But if we win, we won't be at the bottom anymore. We'll have climbed a little higher. And once we start climbing, well, who knows where we'll stop? We'll stop right here if you keep daydreaming. Don't let yourself get distracted thinking about what comes after. So I'm trying! No ever said we stopped fighting. Oh, and vicious fight it is. Eyes gouged, skin scratched bloody, hair ripped and nails broken. Every rule there ever was in the book of honorable <laughs> combat. Honorable combat. You and the princess have broken a dozen times over. That's nice and all, but are we winning? Nobody's winning. I thought playing dirty was supposed to give you the upper hand, but I suppose that doesn't work if you both sink to the same lows. Still, at least you're not losing. Damn. The princess cackles maniacally as the fracker <laughs> continues. Oh no. Behind her cackle, you hear the low groan of warping. Oh wow. Well. Wait, what's going on? She's biting us a lot and tearing into us a little We're bit. We're establishing a newer, better packing. No, sir, the wood. No, the groaning thing. Why is the wood making noise? Who cares about the groan? It's just a sound. Oh, Things make boy. sounds all the time. I care about the groan. <laughs> Doesn't that mean something bad is happening? Oh, yes, well, I'm afraid that's the sound of the basement getting small. Ah! You hear that, you pathetic wretch? Those are the roots of the wild, and they're coming to choke the breath from your lungs. Excuse me, what? We were fighting! You and the princess disengage for a brief moment, just long enough to get your bearings. Behind you, the basement door has been sealed over, thick roots barring your only exit from the dirt pit. And slowly, but very perceptibly, the roots are closing in on you both. I'm this thing! That's right. They're coming for you. And they won't stop until there's nothing left down here but them. Okay. We can work this out. We can make it. Oh, go on fighting, Ashley. You attack the princess. Yeah! The two of you yeah! The, the basement <laughs> continues to shrink. <laughs> but neither of you pay it any more mind. Not until it's too late. The roots twist around you both, binding your limbs and rendering you helpless. As your fates close in, all you can do is watch her, and all she can do is watch you. 
At first, it's almost gentle. The two of you lift it delicately off the ground. Oh! The the sound oh! of the wood is drowned out by the snaps and pops of your bones. Tears well up in the princess's eyes, her own bones splintering and flesh swelling with trapped blood. But still, she smiles through it all. I can't wait to do this again, you wretched little thing. I hate you, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Aww! Oh my god! The pressure is unbearable. Oh my you can't god! Breathe. Your vision swimming with red, your head pounding as everything tightens. And then you pop. That is that's very romantic. We. I didn't get into humor for that one, but I wait. I think I might have actually. No, yeah, I was directly attacking her. Oh, that was good. Okay, I like that. I like that. I like that. So romantic. Uh. Now, hold on. Okay, sorry. There's. Okay. Okay. Uh. Let's leave. Yes. Let's. She creeps forward. Taking, she never breaks eye contact. E she's silent for a long moment. After you, darling. Oh no, we it shouldn't matter who Lee. Well, if it are, we're armed, you're talking. Um. Uh, what if I go first? That's right. You're the one who's going first. That's exactly what I'm. Oh, I, that about. was. I don't know why I skipped that. Sorry. You step onto the stairs and begin your ascent from the basement. The princess follows close on your heels perhaps even a little closer than you'd like. You're only saying that because you want us to feel nervous. You want us to turn around oh, and kill her. Oh, she's so close to me. I do want those things, but I want them for a good reason. I don't need you to trust me for my sake, because I already know that I'm right. Okay, bro. This is for you. Relax. Can we walk backwards up the stairs? I think that's the smarter idea. <laughs> Can't sneak in an attack if we're facing her. No. The stairs are a bunch of overgrown roots. You'll trip and hurt bite, yourself. Probably. But the princess is silent as you both continue the climb, and in no time we all, have... the upstairs of the cabin is within reach. Isn't that a relief? We're fine. Nothing See, she's You're cool, not even cool. going to wait until you're through that door to proudly claim your victory. Are I you? simply need to take my wins. Why did you just say that? Why did you say I that? I think we know why. Oh. Oh. The princess clawing at you pulling you down with her full weight. Together you oh! back down the uneven stairs, oh! your body and hers crashing against the unyielding wooden roots, until finally you both separate with a bone-shaking thud against the basement floor. You feel something pop. Hey, we're fine, right? We're good. The princess lands against the far wall, gasping as she struggles to recover from the impact. You didn't even have to do all that. You're still in shock, trying to get a hold of yourself. She grins as you continue to remain exactly where you are, cackling derisively <laughs> as she watches you realize that you won't be getting up. Wait, why won't we be getting up? Why aren't we getting up? I'm afraid up? your back is broken. One unlucky fall is all it takes, really, and you had several. That's her. You know what? I'll say it. That sucks. <laughs> that I don't sucks. like having a broken back. We were going to help her. Why? Why did she do that? It's what I would have done. Okay. Have you considered not being like that? <laughs> have you considered being different? Of course not. It's what keeps us alive. And yet here we are, paralyzed and stuck with someone who hates us in the basement of a remote cabin. You must have known this was coming. The arrogance of turning your back to me after everything you've done. What the hell was that for? Maybe you were. And maybe you weren't. But even more than I wanted my freedom, I really, really wanted to hurt you. That's fair. And you know as well as I that by our very natures, only one of us could make it up those oh. stairs unscathed. Someone had to make the first move. Better me than you. See, this is why I wanted her to go first. I had this whole little scheme <laughs> plan where she'd turn her back scheme. on us and I'd say, Now stab her in the back! Do it now! <laughs> Do it and now! And then you'd say something like, Wow, that's an amazing idea that I never saw coming. Thanks for looking out for us. Oh my lord. And then you would have done it and we wouldn't be stuck down here with a broken back. Why didn't you tell us your plan before we agreed to go first? Because then you'd have had to lie to her. 
And you're a terrible liar. I'm a lovely... well... That's not... Okay, that's actually a good point. That's crazy. Stand up. It would have been a good point if it had actually... I don't say any phrase so bad. But it didn't work. Did it? Well, it's not my fault that nobody listened to me. Oh! Her body twitches as she tries to get up. Ho, ho, ho! Ah! She's not as bad as I. Ha, ha! Something inside me is broken. Isn't that a cruel twist of the knife? Isn't that so... so funny? She eyes you with intensity, oh. silence falling between you for a long moment as her gaze travels up and down your battered form. Seems I'm not the only one, though. Wait, are we both just stuck here? That's crazy. It seems that way. What a way to go. Look on the bright side. In all this Yay. chaos, you may have actually managed to deliver a lethal wound. The world could be saved after all. Sir, that's just not my concern. We're going to die together. Isn't that a lovely treat? I wonder how Aww. long it'll take. Maybe I'll get to watch the worms lick your bones clean. Mm. Is that really what's going to happen now? Hello? Are you still there? What happens next? He doesn't respond. I think he's gone. Something strange is twisting this place out of shape. I wasn't feeling much of anything, but now I feel... cold. We already brought the witch to her, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah, okay, we already did. Interesting! Interesting! Okay, one more. One more. One more. Wow, that's an amazing idea! I never saw that coming! Thanks for looking out for us! You said exactly the thing I imagined you would say as soon as you heard my brilliant plan. This whole day is a dream come true, oh, really. Lord. You plunge the blade deep into the princess's back, driving her to her knees amid the roots. Would you look at that? No need to thank me. But, you know, please, do thank me. Okay. Of course you'd betray me the moment I turned my back on you. Don't think you're leaving here alive, wretch. She shoves you in return, okay. sharp teeth okay. ah! the ankle as My back! the uneven stairs in a hastening flurry of violence and low. My back! You separate oh. with a bone-shaking thud as you hit the basement floor. You feel something pop. The princess lands against the far wall, gasping as she struggles to- You're still in shock, trying to get a hold of yourself. Wait, why- I'm afraid you're back- You know what? I'll say it. That Did you really think you could stab me in the back without suffering the consequences? Fool, 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 you're such a ridiculous fool. For thank you. Thank you. Damn. The princess lets out a mocking laugh. <laughs> I could see your scheme twitching in every muscle. I understand you too well for there to be secrets between us. That helps We're the same back. creatures at our core. Spite runs through our very marrow. By our very natures, only one of us can make it up those stairs. At least we can all agree that it was a good idea to oh make Oh my go god. How? Well, she was going to betray us, wasn't she? Our back is broken. <laughs> our back is broken. But we gave it our all. No regrets. Besides, she's got to have it as bad as us, right? Oh! Princess's body twi- oh -ho! So she does. Something inside me is- She eyes you with intensity. Seems I'm not the only one. Wait. We both okay, and then I think it plays the same. Okay. I think... Hmm. I think that... I think that'll be it for now. I think we've covered... I think we've covered a good amount. Okay. And then I just, I thought, it said main menu, and for some reason, my, okay, um, okay, I, it said main menu, and for some reason I, I took, I, I, I took quit as main, we got 40 achievements now, we went from 19 to 40, <laughs> okay, it said, to, well, listen, 
19 to 40. <laughs> so today we got, was it going to show all of them? Um, <laughs> hello. Um, we got, there are no new endings, only new beginnings. An untrusting vessel, bring the witch to her. The frog, it was in our nature, which is her betraying us. Um, the, um, the vessel, the, uh, sorry, the, I can't read, bring the beast to her, that's the one where she's the beast. The dissolving will, free a creature while under extreme duress. The wound, some te tears can never be mended. Um, that's when we, I think when we saw the everything. Um, like when we saw like a crack into the beyond. Uh, Ahab, strike the heart from the belly of the beast. A glimpse of something bigger, embrace your transformation. A wounded vessel, bring the wounded wild to her. Opossum, fool a predator by faking your death. An endless vessel, bring the networked wild to her. Sorry, that was the networked wild, my bad. Uh, I forgot which one the wounded was. Um... Uh, a wordless vessel, bring the den to her. That was like when she was the full creature. Fight, successfully take off the fight to her creature in its den. That's when we just fought it. When we had the stubborn. Turning over a new leaf, work through some issues and learn to trust. Past life gambit, hand your power to a suspicious character. That was the uh, when we gave her the knife. Trust issues, share with thorny prison. <laughs> uh... The thorny vessel brings a thorn to her. Playing it safe, leave a suspicious character in the basement and abandonment. Abandon her in a thorny prison. The best ending was rescuing her. That was nice. Yeah. Um, I will say we got one, two, three, four, five. We got five achievements that under 10% of players have gotten. So that's fun. That's funky. It's a fun time. Um, so yeah, we now are forty one percent of getting all the, the a way to getting all the achievements. Are we going to get all of them? Probably not. But I enjoyed that. I really love I really like this game and I love how many options there are and how thorough it is and how much details there are. It's one of my favorite sort of things in in like find uh and like adventure games where because it, it feels like it's always like oh right, there's always so much you want to do um but sometimes it's, it, it feels like in everything i want to do so much it actually lets you do so much you know what i'm saying so it's really cool um i really enjoy it it's a great time um and uh yeah uh, thank you all so much for joining me today. I'm going to raid T Birdie. They're doing some. They're just having just a chill time. They just started, it looks like. So I'm gonna send you all over to to them, and I will hydrate. Thank you. Did you get that? That's good. 